verse 29, then he spoke to them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they are already budding, you see and know for yourselves that summer is now near. So you also, when you see these things happening, what are these things? What are these things? Verse 10, then he said to them, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquake in various places, and famine, and pestilence, and there will be fearful sights, and a great signs from heaven. I... I I'm, I'm really distracted by what I'm seeing. I'm actually seeing some angels floating heavily, some, some men of God. It's heavy. So I was, I was very, it's very, very distracted. Um, and so while I was reading Luke chapter 21, they were reading Luke chapter 12, verse 47. And that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So I was seeing heavy, very heavy beating. And it was, it was, it was right in front of the, the toll gates. Yeah, so there were so many cars looking at the sight of... So all the projector screens were showing the, the man that was being flogged. Yeah. So, uh, so you also, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Surely I, I said to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things come uh, take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But take heed of this of your take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness. Don't mind me, I'm really distracted by some 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 sights. And care of this life. And that day come to you un unexpectedly. And it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to, ex to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of, the son of Man. And in the daytime he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and stayed on the mountain called Olivet. Then early in the morning all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. The continuation of that scripture will be John. The Bible is not... Mm, the Bible is not written this way, actually. The Bible is written the way the Holy Spirit reads it out to you. So it begins to join some parts together. So it may not just be, may not just be this, these things that are written here. So when you read the Bible and how many people are, has that happened to you? Read the Bible and then it tells you to stop and go to another place to read. Not with cross-referencing now. So that is what happened. You are familiar with it, right? It stops you and then you go. Well, when that not, it looks like it's a continuation of um, what you what you are reading. The best way to read the Bible is when the Holy Spirit is reading it with you. It just makes everything very clear. John 20, I read Luke 21. John 20. 
It was after Jesus was um, after Jesus had been resu- had, yeah, yeah. After Jesus was resurrected. Uh, yeah, after Jesus died and resurrected, but had not gone to heaven, went to hell, went to the earth to come, and then as he was coming out, Mary was the first to see to see him. Verse 11, but Mary stood outside by the tomb, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said these things, she turned away and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and to your God, I am ascending. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things to her. Then the same day, that at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When, they had, when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father had sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Verse 15, so when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than this? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you guarded yourselves and walked yourself and walked where you wished. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will guard your, you and carry you where you do not wish. This is spoke signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken, he said to him, follow me. Then Peter, turning aside, saw the disciples whom Jesus loved following. 
who also had leaned on his breast at supper. Who, who was that? That was John. Um, that's why I mean, it was called John, John the Beloved. And, um, and on his breast at the supper and said, Lord, who is the one who betrays you? Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, but Lord, what about this man? That's Judas. Jesus said to him, if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? You follow me. And this saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who testifies of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. Matthew start from last night. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him, that's the disciple, as they mourned and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. And, and they went and told it to the rest. But they did not believe them either. Later, he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table. He rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, go into, the, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believed, believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And this sign will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons they will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. If they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. These signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. That line sounds like the lines of the workers of iniquity that said, In your name, will cast out demons. Very thin line, note that line, so we'll come back to that later. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God, and they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Matthew, Matthew. things in the, uh, let me use the word in the curriculum today, like a lot of information that will be useful, useful to us. Verse 28, Matthew, uh, 
Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week, last one, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, Jesus. Sam, um, Matthew 28, verse 1. Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you see Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen as he said, Come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead and indeed is going before you into Galilee. Is going before you into Galilee, that there you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with, with fear and great joy and ran to bring the disciples' word. And as they went to tell the disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. And Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee. And there they will see me. Now, while they were going, behold, some of the guards came to the city and reported to the chief priests and all, all the things that had happened. When they had assembled with the elders and consulted together, they gave a large sum of money to the disciples, saying, Tell them his disciples came at night and stole him away while we slept. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will appease him and make you secure. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they, had, when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came to, and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So, something will, will take place now, and it will take place because there is a major countdown in the world now, in the timetable, in the calendar of heaven, um, the global the world as a whole is being measured right now. And it is a time when those who have faith will lose faith. It is it is a time when even the elect will be deceived. Deception will be on fleek. Uh, greed will be very, and very high, and love for self will be very high. 
It is a time when you will feel that you are alone. True righteousness will be very, very scarce. A time when people will say to you clearly that um, you can't be holier than the Pope who is sleeping with the nun. Does that make sense? Is that time. And I was not surprised when a friend from, I think, I don't know if I've forgotten now, was it from US, I can't remember, sent me story about one of the, I think one of the best songwriters of uh, old songs, saying, you know, and he said, what do I think? Uh, and the Lord said to me that uh, I shouldn't see anything until today. And so God is given us and you might just think why are you special like why 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 and what is it you know about you and about this movement that makes it look special uh, and that make you look special and I will answer that question by saying that um, What is happening over here is happening in many other places, but it's happening in, in, in pockets. Okay. God's own member. God's own members in the church of the firstborn. They are being searched out right now. And what will happen, what will happen now will happen across the globe. And what is that? Pay attention. What will happen now is a system upgrade. You cannot go on with this terabyte that you have right now. You cannot. The 12 became 11. You can't. The game is just about to begin. And I shouldn't say this, but I will. God will, God will cause you know, a major stumbling to a core. Test the faith of them in him. This is a time when doubt is a big word in heaven. Doubt. And so for a very few moments, I'm going to camp around what system upgrade means. And I'm going to explain to you, step by step, how you can go up and escape everything that is happening down here. I will explain it in a very practical way because it has started. So that when you begin to see the traits, you will not be surprised. Okay. This period um, is a time when God will deliberately make pastors to fall. 
God will cause his servant to be blind. So that the hearts of men can be tested, weighed, measured, and brought to the open. Those who have so much believe in pastors and believe in mortal men. So mortal men, those who have believed so much in, in what the church is saying, what the pastor is saying to me, and everything, God will deliberately make that to come to an end. So it will be a time when your faith in God will be the blood on the lintel of the of the of the of the building because the angel of destruction not the demon of destruction okay there are beasts in heaven there are elders in heaven in the hierarchy of the courts angels come toward not first because angels don't sit at the court, at the table with God. They can't. And if you look at that seat in Revelation's Gospel, it was elders and beasts. Okay? You will understand. Don't worry. <laughs> you will understand. You will understand. We have to go deeper now. And I'm sorry, I have to do it. We must go deeper because from now on, whoever is not deep cannot cannot operate. We must be deep. It is my responsibility to pull you into the deep. And you will see yourself swimming even when you cannot swim because your capacity will be will be increased will be stretched yeah that's the word will be enlarged okay so every word that i will say i will really take my time because I am talking to your spirit. And you will understand. Because your capacity will be enlarged. So the words that will come today will never be empty words. No, no. None of them will be empty. So I will take my time. Praise God. Amen. Um, so, in the hierarchy of, I don't want to use the word seniority in heaven, but, you know, in the order of things, angels come toward, you have the elders, you have the, the you have the beasts, well, whether they are dirty beasts or they are clean beasts, is another thing entirely, but. So, God is the one in the ruling in the affairs of man. And everybody is giving accounts to him, including the devil. And 
some Christians, some you know, people take the whole of their time to pray against the devil that is doing the work of God. Hold on. Everyone is working towards their time. Not the manifestation of the Antichrist, but the coming of the great king. The platform will just be, it will be a test run. Antichrist will just use the platform as a test run. The common currency, the government becoming one, and all those things that we are beginning to see. Right? And the destruction that is happening, and some people praying that the devil should be caged, or destruction should not happen, you are wasting your time. Jesus did not pray against the hour of darkness. He announced it. So, picture angels coming to the earth to harvest prayers because the prayer of the saints will be needed in the courts. It will be mixed with the altar of incense. will be with the incense, okay? And a sweet-smelling servo has to go from the inner court to the Holy of Holies. So that there will be a sweet-smelling servo right from before um, the... The, the most holy place, okay? Just picture with me. Don't worry, just picture with me. Okay. Now, angels come in here, and they have, there is no prayer to harvest. Because the prayers are filled with personal needs. They are filled with dirty, dirty, what very dirty thoughts. Even what angels cannot do, we are doing. Why? Because there is no capacity to know the times. Everything I've read, you will hear Jesus saying about the time. The first one I read I was talking about the fig tree when you don't see leaves on it. Because they do not have what God has given to us now. They don't, they don't have. See, I'm not praying that God will give us. He is giving us now. When you follow the timetable of heaven, you would escape death. You would escape destruction. So you don't need to pray about it. So begin to look at the contents of the prayer that you have prayed in time past. How people what? <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> How people waste 24 hours, 18 hours locking themselves up and saying they want to see Jesus, they want to see. How people lock in and all their thoughts. What you uh, what is prayer is not what is coming out of your mouth. What is prayer is here. There are three places. The public, the private, and the secret place. Mm -hmm. This secret place is the place nobody knows. It's only you and God. Mm -hmm. Even your husband does not know it. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. It's not the place known. You let him know what you want him to know. And he lets you know what he wants you to know. Everybody is on this table. Secret place. And sometimes the secret place owns the pet. The secret place owns the owner. How, how does that sound? The secret place is the owner well, owns the person <laughs> that is having the What's secret place either? thoughts. Kind of thing. You know, the secret place is the one owning you. And these thoughts go away now. Go, go, and <laughs> pray. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Because it's a place. Oh my God! It's a place where deeds are recorded. You see, that is the that is the component of man that is connected to the throne, and recordings are going on. Mm. And you are being weighed every time, and 
judgment is passed. So the great judgment will not be. I mean, picture 7.6 billion standing before the judgment day, and you say, well, how long does it take in courts for one case to be? No, 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 no. The cases have been judged now. That was why he said, any sin you forgive, yeah, mm. will be forgiven there. And you can retain sins. You can say, this sin must stay. This one. Out of deep pain. I stood before God and I said, God, I know you forgive everybody. Even the book keeps it. it, it. I retain his sins here. Baba Kumui to go and preach to Mobutu three days before his death. Don't do this one. This one is good. Many years ago, I was a poor woman. I saw an angel just roaming, you know, on the street, just roaming endlessly, and I called one of them. What's the problem? He said, Well, this is how we roam around. I said, why? He said, because the mountains are very lonely and quiet. Mm. I said, why? People are there playing. He said, which prayer? I can't harvest it to heaven and I can't go heaven to heaven empty and dead. I have to carry something. Mm. So they keep looking for prayers that are pure. Mm. Prayers of the saints. So why Jesus cannot come now? Major in mind. Praise the Lord. God has answered the prayer that I have prayed to. My enemies are moved to hate. Oh. That is the testimony. That, how can you reconcile that to the testimony of Jesus? What is testimony of Jesus? That the both can. He turned water to wine. He met his KPU. He met his I, 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 <laughs> That's one of the very quick I got. He wants to meet his KPU. I love I love that. What did you say again? He met his KPU. <laughs>
question is it that the, the census was not covered in red or there was a party on that? Did they party? <laughs> No, it's a good place to laugh. Gabriel, sometimes you will knock my dad and say, I am here, Jay, don't disturb me. <laughs> go back. He said, Where do I go? <laughs> I didn't know that Samuel was uh, also with that is all you know. When suddenly I was talking to Tulu and then I saw Samuel, ah, I said, I was chatting. I did as if, because the chatting was so sweet. Yes, because I deliberately detached myself. You know, you have been with God so long. Say, Please, let me come to the end. This is this thing. Because we're back to back. Mm-hmm. These two weeks have been back to back. And that last time that we came, if only you knew what happened. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. You know, you get to a point in God that you, you, He will tell you, just, just take, take some time out. Let destruction pass. Because what you received that day was known even in hell. That day was not just any normal day. You know, I prayed to a point. I said, "Don't follow me. Don't follow me." If you remember. Yeah. I have not gotten to city of David, and trust me on this. A very respected man of God called me a friend and said, Daniel, where are you? I said, okay, I just left the place now. I'm going home. I said, okay. He said he came home to sleep quite early mm-hmm. so that he can pray in the night. And so he started sleeping at about maybe 3 p.m. And he woke up at about the time that I did, that we left here, mm-hmm. and he said, "I had a dream." So he told me. He said, "There is this very, very big man that you know all his secrets. You, Daniel, know the secret of this big man, and you are at a point where you are so aggrieved, and you are with very selected few people, and you are telling them about the secret." of this man. Very great man. He said so great. He had had so many, you know, um, resources at his disposal. So many resources, so much, so much more. And please listen to this. He said, the man was not happy as I was talking. So you can reconcile the prayer when I said, don't come, don't follow me into this place. Mm-hmm. He said, so the man released a hired assassin to come after me and those that were with me. He didn't know where I was. He did not know what had happened that day. And you see, after the prayer, I am sure everybody received, you know, the message that whatever you heard, you, you keep it. Yeah. It's something very, you know, very sensitive and all that, and blah blah blah. Because that was exactly what I was talking to. It was you. We 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 entered into some zones that Apollyon was literally released in hell. To launch an attack. And so when things happen like that, God will have to hide you till the destruction, the, till that, you know, destruction pass. Because there are Apollyons that don't miss target. Yes, even to the righteous man. They hit you and God will just take you. Not that you are you are you are in a in a in a bad place. Not that you have sinned. Okay? Not that you are in a place where you are not support. If you look at Hebrew chapter eleven, and I think this is the third day I'm talking about that, that thing. I kept repeating, kept repeating. 
you have people that prayed and their children came back to life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you had some of them that they prayed and their prayers were not answered. Okay. And then they repeat again. This is this is the major hall of faith where you know every you know recognized name in, in, in heaven is and chapter 35 that's where i always start women receive their dead raised to life again so some prayed okay this is my dead child um jesus heal you know bring him back to me and they came back but watch this others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection Still, others had trial of mockings and scourgings. Yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sawn into two. Okay? They were tempted and they were slain with the sword. I mean, this guy is also believed in God, right? They believed in, in God with the likes of Moses that wrought miracle, with the likes of David, with Joseph and all that, but this still happened to them. Okay? They prayed. Still, they were sown into two. They had trials and mockings and scourgings. So there are, there are some Apollyons from the pit of hell that do not miss target. They will hit the believer and the believer will die. And yes, he will go to heaven. So after that day, it was very instructive that we pull back. Okay? Because within the two weeks, my goodness, things, it was like, two weeks was like a month or two months for me. It was every day. And yes, we thank God we recorded wonderful deliverance. We, we recorded great things, we, wonderful stuff. Although, we lost some. I can tell you that that was meant to be deeper than that. So the words that were coming every day was was not just okay, let's just engage them. You understand? Because just picture that the, these things are happening now, like we are gathering, we are gathering, it will not be forever, right? So it's for a time, and the curriculum has to be, you know, um, um, thoroughly exhausted. Okay, so that the future, will, you know, is secure forever, generations, for generations to come. So. Messages were coming, great deliverances were being recorded. It may look bad, but to God, who created light and darkness, both are alike before him. All right? Both are alike before him. And while, you know, within these two weeks, Quite a lot of us had wonderful experiences, which I'm, you know, very, very grateful to God for. A lot of things have been we received quite a lot. You know, I have received so much that I had to tell Toto to compile some of them, you know, so that you know we can just go through some of them and you know encourage ourselves, so you know that this period was not just you know for things. Things were going on, serious stuff, you know, was, was going on, and great deliverances were recorded, and we thank God for that. 
So before I go forward, I would like to read some of them. Um, and I want to be very deliberate in my reading. Um, after which we will, we will go we will go into the in, into the system upgrade. Um, for, for them. So this was someone said, um, I am I'm really I'm really desperate now. I used to be very afraid, very timid, and I don't want to wait that way anymore. In the last few days, learning from you and praying, I have been exposed to another dimension, a dimension I didn't know exists. I didn't even know it was real, let alone accessible. Now I just want to do the I just want to do right by God. I truly want to overcome my fear and do something for him. I don't want to die and realize I could have done more. I keep praying my heart is right for this. And if it isn't, it's okay. He can keep till he can keep it till he is sure he can trust me with it. But I have never wanted to try like this. Never. I always run away and stay comfortable, just passing life by. But if there is more, I want it. I don't do a disservice to this generation. So I don't do a disservice to these generations after me as well. Because I chose not to leave. Another person said, my friend and family are already saying I am different. <laughs> Another person said, that day or a day before, I really can't remember. I was just thinking about life and now everything boils down to nothingness. Being there, done everything worldly possible, and there is no gain, not one. And I thought about where I am now, and I cried. And I thanked God for progress and growth. It can only be God, really. Another person said, whoa, whoa, whoa. This week, I was studying Samuel and David, and they kept on being highlighted but I didn't know why. You know, this particular person so happened to be where I was. You know, the night when Samuel appeared to me, I was talking to Tolu and I was deliberately taking my eyes away because I didn't want to engage, um, to engage Samuel. There was a message he brought, you know, and when I couldn't ignore anymore, I told Tobu that, you know what, they are here. Let me go. <laughs> I will see you later. And from 9 p.m., right, even she, she couldn't sleep because I, as I was receiving those I was sending to, to her till one, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. So this, when, it, when this came to me, it really meant a lot. It's a confirmation that God is actually doing something. And I'm actually saying this because I started by saying the, the faithful will be tested this time. This is a time that faith will depart. This is a time when it will be weighed, as in really weighed. This is a time when people will say, you know what? Maybe that idea of angels coming to my room was just a scientific stuff. Or maybe it was in my mind. Was it real? Like, <laughs> maybe there was, maybe there is no God, or maybe there is no heaven. And I'm going to read this. Um, there was a prophecy on Saturday, 3rd of August, for those of us that were at the morning session of the um, morning worship session. Um, I remember very well when, when we were praying and, and I said, I talked about a boat capsizing and a plane crash, which the Lord said he will, you know, avert. That was on the 3rd of August. On the 15th of August, Thursday, 2019, it happened. 18 people were saved. Only three got injured and they later died. So when we pray, 
there are so many things that God, you know, that God, you know, uh, does when we pray. So many things. Someone said, first, I had a dream. Okay, someone first had a dream and heard a name called twice, loud and clear, and she woke up. And she went back to sleep after taking a bath and praying and dreamt again. She was praying in the dream, then prayed for her sister and then felt like everyone was praying for her. It was just a dream of prayer. And then someone said, do was do okay, though I was not present at the last two meetings, I got a hold of the recordings. Um, she said she now has clarity in studying the Bible. She reads the Bible and she gets it even without an in-depth study. So just while on the surface, you know, uh, things things happen. So many. Let me just stop there. Within these two weeks, you know, someone had a dream and said to me, "That was that was that, that really caught me." Um, two things. Someone said to me that this is the reason why you came into my life. You know, this now is the reason why I believe that we are mating. And much later, we'll talk about power, the destiny relationship. But we have to. We have to, we, we must go through system upgrade first and foremost. It's very important because from now on, it is not business as usual. So, the person said she had a dream of being in a class. The class was a new class and the school was a new school. And of course, the curriculum would be new. But then there was a particular place, it, like, it looked like a dungeon. People just enter into the place. And she entered into the place, and then she saw that some demons specialize in, you know, um, staining the clothes, you know, staining the garments of the people in the class. That's their area of specialization. They just look for, they just look forward to the, for them, it's, 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 it's a nice spot. And then, as, as the, you will know, they will come, they will come very close to you and then pour the stuff. And as she came, as they came close to her and they poured the stuff, she screamed Jesus. And somehow she escaped. She looked at her, her, you know, her body, she was not staying. And then she saw that she had capacity, she had strength to climb the wall and go to the, you know, to the, to the height such that the demons couldn't, you know, reach, reach out to, to, to her. And, you know, the, the people in the school came together and they were looking at how much she was. And they said, it has never happened in the history of this school that someone would, would, would climb the wall this, you know, this, this, this high. You know. And just before that person sent the dream to me, God was talking to me about the need to have a vertical and horizontal upgrade. I said your secret life is the one that only you and God know. Even your husband does not know it. Your wife does not know it. It is what you want them to know that they know. And it comes to a time that their heart owns you. Now that's the secret place. So picture those times that you want to pray and this terrible thoughts keep coming and you keep fighting the thought and the thought keep coming. So who is the owner of the heart? You or the heart? Who owns you? And there is the private life, which is the one that you want people very close to you to know. That is also a product of the secret place. Then there is the public one. The one everybody can get on Google, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, everywhere. The reason why the angels would come to the earth and they wouldn't be able to harvest the prayer of saints is because 
the public life, the private life, and the secret life are not one. We live a lie. So we throw copies around. From the secret place, we throw copies to the private life, we throw copies to the public life, so they are not in sync, they are not in one accord to the law and to the testimony. Okay? If, there is, if they are not one, it means there is no light in them. So there is no light, or the light we have is darkness. So, so last week I was passing through a church and I saw angels leaving, you know, getting out of the church and they were shaking their head like this. Huh? I was engaging them and saying, but people are praying. And they said, they are lifting up their hands that they love Jesus and they don't. You know, and they started showing me copies of the thoughts that was going on while the prayers were, that they were harvesting dirty stuff. Now, there are so many di different terminologies of what we call dirty. But what they call dirty is anything that is not in alignment with God's will. See, get it? When God sends his people to the earth, is to look for those whose name are registered in, the, in, in, in heaven the church of the firstborn. When they come down to this place, it's a time of a word, is to give a message to you. The angels. The angels, yes. Is to give the message to you, okay? As they are your servants, right? So they, you don't worship them, they are your servants. What they do daily? They are they descend, ascend, they descend, ascend, they descend, ascend, what they do daily, okay? Now, Picture a situation where you are supposed to ascend and descend. But you are not even living where you are. Why? Because you are too heavy. The three compartments are not the same. So you have a lot of baggage in every compartment. You call it being, being diplomatic with the truth. That's what you call it. Some call it white lie. Some call it black. Well, some, well, well, some say, okay, I'm just managing. Yeah. I don't know how to say no. It's funny how that is the first thing a child learns. That's the first thing that a child learns to say. But the system is programmed on earth. To make you say yes to everything. And to the child, as he's saying no, we are beating the child. You don't say no to me. <laughs> you don't say no to me. So the system is met is, is the system is programmed that way. To make you say yes to everything and you don't know how to say no. So um, I'm coming to Ronnie's house because, you know, I, I'm just, you know, Ronnie's friend and Ronnie wants to pray. And the angels are just around. All Ronnie needs to say is to say, Daniel, don't come. But then Ronnie says, oh, Daniel is my friend. What can I say? Daniel should not come. He will he won't even think somehow, won't he look somehow. So what do I do? You know, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So, Roddy will switch on the phone. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> And so Daniel will not get Rolly. <laughs> and then he say, okay, you know what, maybe he's busy, maybe he's busy, maybe he's gone. Yeah. Truth is, Rolly was meant to say. Yeah. <coughs> okay? 
And then the phone comes up and I say, oh, Ronnie, I mean, I was just come passing through. I had this burning desire to see you. I just wanted to see you. Oh, okay, maybe my phone was switched off. Uh, I got it one of those days. Oh, <laughs> a copy has been dropped. But that copy is not the true copy. Yes, it's not the certified true copy. And he just will say, ah, oh, monkey. <laughs> now, I'm talking of two people, blood washed. This is not unbeliever talking. <laughs> These are not sinners talking to themselves. Okay? So either for fear that I will, either for fear that, you know, I was telling Rolly that Rolly is too spiritual. Okay. Okay. So the three compartments are not the same. You say you love the Lord. Exactly. Because after all, what we are taught is management. <laughs> management of resources, people are part of the resources. So you have to manage people, and then you hear people saying, this is a man that specializes in making, is in saying no to people in a way that they will love it. I'm sorry, what's that? Yes. I guess it's a no, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That is what I teach you. <laughs> in a nice way, exactly. So, so you see that when you say it is dirty, I want you to see that it's not when someone is doing something, something. In the church, we, we, we can't, there are some things we cannot manage still. We cannot handle some things. Okay? Can handle some things just yet. Picture a bro a sister, and I'm seeing the sister right now. You know, wants to sing. She's part of the choir. She she had prepared so well, and has some chorus, you know, and 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 she says, okay, so God, please. Let your power come down today. Let everybody be filled with your spirit and all that. And then she takes the Bible and starts, you know, writing the, 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 the chorus. And, and what she's actually writing are the choice of songs that are popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily anointed. Mm. Or destined to be the song that will be sung at that time. Eight songs. Eight songs. And eight songs have some good staples, but they are not godly. Mm. They are not the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Remove that. Just take your eyes out of the church. Be at home. You will sing the song and you will cry. Now, take yourself to the pop. I mean, club. Sing that same song. You will take a. This same hit songs, you are in the church, everybody is singing, you are crying, right? Mm -hmm. Take yourself out of that scenario, put yourself at home, all alone, singing that same song, you will still cry. Take your picture, picture yourself in the club, 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 club. Sing that same song, you can still cry. Yes. yes. Okay. So this sister comes right there, sing those songs, and everybody, you know, and for a moment, she takes her eyes away from the Lord and just scans through and see everybody in the spirit lifted hands, and she says, "Let us not let the let the instrument not play." Let us hear the word. Who, who are you worshiping? Mm. We are dirty worship. It's worse than entertaining. If the people in if the people on earth 
raising their hands, know at that time that it was a, it was a waste of time. That those exercises, are not <laughs> those exercises at no point are not recognized by heaven. It does not bring any word. And, and at that point, the same sister says, "The Lord is saying something." Mm. Oh God, deception on the flick, <laughs> and the speed of it. And yes, just, just flow with me in this thought. Imagine going on like that in the church and receiving words. The Lord is saying something, the Lord is saying something, the Lord is saying something. And you know what? Whatever the Lord does not say will not happen. So it begins to cause disappointment in your heart that you have received a lot of words from the Lord and it's not happening. Because men of God brought worship to be hit songs. And when the Spirit of the Lord is telling, is saying to her, sing this song, he says, ah, it's not popular. People don't really know this song. Uh, when you enter through worship, that sound that she's making, you can be there for 18 hours. You know that sound does not have words, right? But it's not, it does not have words to you. Every sound is not vacuum. There is no vacuum in every sound. When a system upgrade happens in you, well, this that I know very well, when a child cries, you will know the meaning. When I was young, I used to tell the world that. You know what he's asking for? I said, no, he's been crying all along. He's crying, 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 crying. I said, ah, did you? The way you held this boy some hours ago is painful. You are hurting the boy. Apologize to the boy. The boy does not talk. He can't talk. And then you tell him, okay, I'm sorry, because I'm right there. I won't go. And the boy keeps quiet. One had earrings in our ears. I think about maybe eight months. She was crying and crying and crying and crying for hours, and the woman was so distraught, what is happening and all that. And I tapped the woman, I said, look at the right ear, there's something inside the right there. She's telling you, help me. And the woman said, what? And then they removed the saw, the earring right there. There is no sound. You will know. When, when Jesus was saying there, talking about the summer, talking about the fig tree, I read it. Nature does not abhor God. The tree knows what God is saying, everything. The, 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 the birds, you know, the, the mountains, it is man. It is man that does not know. It was said of Hurricane Katrina that when it was about to happen, I think months before then or weeks before then, animals started missing. You, you, you read dogs were missing, you know, people were most wanted was, okay, wanted or um, missing. missing was everywhere. Why? The ground was vibrating and man did not know. Animals knew. And they left that place. When, when you are upgraded, nothing just happens, you know. You don't feel, it's not those pimples, you don't, you know. And so simple are the things we are talking about, but they are very profound because they will not make us see the true God. 
Because in every, in, in you, are three compartments. In every man. That is why character is always different from reputation. And we can so much invest in reputation at the expense of character. How good, how good I look, what people say to me. I see a lot of people being a lot of people at a point what people say to to what people say became an industry yeah perception yeah thank you it's a big industry so people go for trainings people invest quite a lot on how they look so that people can say but thank you oh you look good oh you look Empty words. <laughs> oh my God. Empty, empty, <laughs> empty words just keep flying everywhere. Empty, empty, empty words. Just last week, there was a change of guard in my in my place of work. Sincerely, I didn't know. I didn't know. But listen, when I joined the company, the Lord said to me. 18 floors go from from floor to floor don't take the lift and don't eat for seven days and pray from floor to floor taking over the whole place take the keys and lock everybody out at your will when you want to lock them out lock them out when you want to open the door open the door i've given you but these are the things you will do i did it and last week i had just finished the meeting i'd gone downstairs they, you know, my, my people had, you know, the, the, the vendors that came for the meeting had gone. And as I was going, the Lord said, you remember 2015? I said, yes, sir. He said, repeat the same thing now. It is a change of God. I didn't know. What I'm saying is, it was not anywhere that the MD of the company had been changed. It was not, it's not a corporate information. Nobody knew. And I went from floor to floor. I went from, I take this, I take this, I take this, I take this. I went to 18th floor. I came down to the office. And bam, two hours after. Breaking news. The MD resigned and a new MD has been announced in France. Far away from it. So when you carry weight where it matters, nothing just happens. You know. And that is needed now. That is needed. It is, it is, it is the, it is the price is, is so priceless right now that you know when to go out and you know when to come in. So you don't waste your prayers. Just by sitting still. Just by watching the, the tide of the wind and the, 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 the strength of the sun. An evil source. It does not matter. Mm. At a certain time of the day, every bird will be flapping their wings. You will not see an evil bird. Just watch it. Immediately the tide is at in, in sync with the strength of the sun. The point at which it is, which he only knows. He moves. And he does like this. And it does like this. And it's going. And it's so far above every other bird. By now, it should happen that you know your portion of suffering. You know when it starts. I know when it ends. And nothing 
à construire une sorte de So when you have three compartments like this that are very heavy, you are dropping this, you are dropping, I just want people to think of me very well, I just want this, you know, I, I, I you know, reputation, reputation, reputation means a lot to you. Not character. And you invest so much in that and you are you appear heavy weight, but you are light feather. I've seen so many people, they'll be in the boardroom and they'll be throwing words at themselves. Do you know who I am? I see the weight of ego on people so much. And I laugh. I'm going to preach somewhere on Tuesday and some of my office people, I never knew it was their church, you know, a lot of rich men in their church. So I got there and I was like, eh. Then you look. It's not possible. No, 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 no. Eh. All through this week it was highlights. <laughs> See, the guy can apologize. So you are like this. <laughs> ah. In fact, I remember one of them. My driver was just about to, you know, in the car, at the car stopped, I was about, I liked him, but the guy was telling me something, I didn't know he was behind me. And I said, I liked it, and, you know, but, uh, what, what's that word? Okay, good. And I turned back, <laughs> well, I teacher. I turned back, and then the guy stood up, and the guy said, what do you mean? What kind of nonsense? I, 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 can't, ima I can't remember spending one minute. You know, what do you mean? What kind of nonsense is this? All these rats, I don't even know where you uh, uh, are. Why are you even parking here? Where uh, was your. What, what did he say? Why did you get to this company? Are you a contractor for a full star? You know that? He said, Well, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Is it no wonder? This week, I mean. It was last week. I was really sorry. You know. Said, Lord, I, 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 it's not workplace, it's the atmosphere. It's the atmosphere. It's the atmosphere. Yeah. So I got to I got to the office. I got to the office and coincidentally his friend had something to do with some of my staff and then after after talking down on them called me and said if this is all you are giving to us in terms of customer service, I think you should resign or be fired. We will fire you. I said I'm really sorry, sir. He said yes, they said it. They said you will be apologizing. So what do you have to say about <laughs> this? Then I, 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 I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say? You are even miserable the way you are even talking. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is this? Who, who brought you to this company? How did you even enter? You don't go, you don't go to the public school at all? <laughs> you know, I actually respect, respect, respect. That's one of your companies. Quiet. Yes, quiet. Quiet. Are you there? I said, I'm there, sir. Are you saying anything, sir? You are still talking, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them look stupid. Guy. <laughs> they now went to their pastor, so you have to introduce us. There's no way we can look into this boy's eyes when we get to the, the office. He said, I'm doing Ha! This boy, you know him. <laughs> ah, and I was looking at her. I was looking, I was laughing. Why? Because the mark of authority is when you don't use it. Mm. You won't know me today. Ah, eh, you this demon, you've come to this. I will show you that I have power. <laughs> I have received power <laughs> from God and I will show. I needed you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Even we, that we are not with the power of power, we are not doing it like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are power. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one of them said,
said something to me. I I, can, I, I think you know for like five minutes I was I was just lost. I was so pain. I was so pain. Okay, yes, I was so pain. I went to the toilet and I cried. Oh. And I came out. Yeah. Before two weeks. Came out. And as I came out, the Lord said, "Would you cry?" And then He said, "Go and apologize to him." He said, "Yeah." And then I was so big and You know, it was a time to slap my ears again. Did I hear what? I was I was not. Ah, it was 15. So I went, ran on to the 15th floor, and I knocked the door. And I said, stupid boy. And I, and I, and I entered and said, stupid boy. I'm really sorry, sir. I'm really, really sorry. Sir. I'm really, really sorry. This will not happen again. And he looked at me. It's okay, just get out. And I said, thank God. God. What is this? And then, is the time, is the season when ranks are changing. You have to know. Because you are about to become a, 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 a mighty string that moves with majestic silence. What they call power is actually forgiveness. Mm, yeah. That's power. Picture the uniform of a general. It always looks faded compared to the uniform of the constable of the corporal. That's the one that will be making noise. He, he has gone. The general has staff. So he's called chief of army staff. He's a general. He does not have gone. He has staff. But the corporal has gone. And the one making noise. Where are the demons? <laughs> Fast forward the story I was saying. The following week I was called by the Christian oil and gas something something to come and you know minister to to them. And this our man was. Who was present? And he had been a victim of the communist politics, a Christian, and had not been promoted for I think about nine years or so. And while I was there, I, I announced to them that the, the only reason why I'm here is to end every form of suffering and struggle to the saints. And now I open the door. And all of you that have not been promoted for nine years, for eight years, for seven years, for twelve years, the following week begin to receive your letters. And we finished praying. The following week, everybody started receiving letters, so they were looking for me. This man received this letter. And it was now time to confront me. Then he went to the president of the fellowship and said, we invited uh, that uh, man of God who came to preach. I used to see him, but I need to see him one on one. I said, why? He said, well, I, he, he also received this letter. And then he came to me. And then he was talking, you know, he started talking, oh, my man of God, thank you very much. I really appreciate the prayer. God has done it. I said, oh, Pastor, what has God done? I said, well, I God, I've, I've, been, I've been praying to God for promotion for nine years. And all and so now, he saw. He said, they are not excited on that. I'm very excited. I'm so happy. I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy for you. And then he finished speaking and he stood up, said, pray for me. I said, no, sir. He said, no, I said, because I'm not happy with you, sir. Oh, 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 you are Daniel Bello. Ah, you are that boy. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I said, sir, you know me all along. 
I said, as a matter of fact, when I was praying last week, you did not believe the prayer. Because you knew me. Stop lying. So when things begin to happen that way, you are being weighed. You are being stretched. Because you can't remain on one ranking for, for, forever. You must move. Now, this is the vertical movement. And what is making, what determines how long you will, you will <coughs> be in that, in that you know, path or you know, that season is your ability to come to the point where you accept God's will as your will. That alignment must happen because it's that alignment that will produce the begotten of the Father in you. What is called begotten is someone whose will has been completely removed, taken away, and the only way he has is the will of God. Now, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, the thought I have towards you, so first, it's not your thought. It is his own. When you assume your thoughts to be his thoughts, and your own will to be his will, <coughs> is when Bless you. It's when you begin to pray, assuming that that is what he wants you to pray about. You begin to pray your greed into his own greed. You begin to align what you want to see in your own life with his own. You will stay at this level within the season for long time. So you can reduce your wilderness moment or your wilderness season or extend it by the daily choices that you make. I die daily, okay? By the daily choices that you begin to make. So those times you begin to say no painfully where you lied, you went back to correct yourself when they were drinking, the things that you normally would do and you totally, someone told me, Jimmy, can you help me? I'm emotionless. I don't have emotions. The thing that I, there's no feeling. I don't know why I don't have feeling. Hey, my mind, I think God, I thank you. Because something is taking away. Something is taking away. And then you begin to be very, and very, you know, you begin to become very irritated. The thing that normally you would accept or condone, you begin to really, you know, you are hard on it, I don't want this. And people begin to tell you, you are, you are a father, I, what is, what kind of, are you the only one that is, what is this? Come, come, come and see born again people that we are, we are, we are, we are very cool together doing stuff. You know, this point is the dying day that is the power. It's the dying day that is the transportation. So imagine someone that is, is filled with the Holy Spirit, not having one person on his streets. Nobody on the street to say truly that this one is a Christian. Number one, his prayer is the loudest in the whole street. Because everybody on the street is a demon. He's the only Christian. He disturbs everybody when he's praying. A 
number two, he is always willing to see vision for everybody. Just to make people know that there is power. Allah Allah, he will have this power. I will show you my power. People say to me that when we hear about you, we, we hear about you like a very big person. But when we move closer to you, you are very ordinary. And I say yes, because I'm a man. Yes. That is what power does. Power makes you on a zoom. But let them touch it. It makes you look like, you know, there is nothing there. And you carry it with grace. But let them let them just try. It's different from hmm, if you touch me. <laughs> if you touch me, it's a In the office, this guy was if if, if, if we are working in between, ah, we are here. Is it not the same because we sound? <laughs> Every little time, I say, um, Doki, it's a problem. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> God, God listens to children. Yes, God listens to children sometimes. <laughs> you can't sit on that wavelength. Is it on that wavelength? <laughs> I said, okay. Mm, children, sometimes, okay. He was there for months, struggling and struggling and struggling. Came to an uncompleted building beside our office many years ago. As as we entered, I just turned back and I just one tongue. The guy just went down. Pow! Very hefty guy. I just turned. I said, Ah, ah, ah. We are not starting. <laughs> <laughs> I just play, you know. He was slain. I like finished praying, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't wake up. So, you know, when you finish praying, you now wait for them to. And from that day, he said, Wow, what kind of person are you? I don't need you to learn something. 
it is not what you see. This is not prayer. The choices you make every day, those are the prayers. They are mm. the main, they are the real. Mm. They are the real prayers. You cannot lie with your tongue and pray with your lips. You cannot live a lie. So the things that God says will not come to pass. You will be frustrated. And you'll be waiting on God. You'll be, you'll be thinking it's God that is making this. No, no. no. It's the daily choices you make. As you make the choices and people leave you alone and your friends leave you, you are being transported. You are changing address. You are changing another person here, yeah, another person here. I remember we, uh, dream, uh, yeah. So that dream was so, was so fascinating to me. I, I really loved it. Because it was the person's ex that dreamt. You know when they are dreaming on your behalf? It's your dream when they are dreaming for you. And the ex dreamt that this person had changed their dress. That, you know, he went to the place where this person was always staying and he didn't, you know, they said, oh, the person has left. And right there in the dream, they took him to where the person was, a very wonderful place, a lovely place. And he woke up and came to this person and started begging the person, please take me to where you are. Mm. In, the, in the room, he was, take me to, and I was like, I don't understand what you are saying. Take you to where? Take you to where? He said, I, I know you are somewhere. Take me there. He said, well, I don't know what to say. I don't know where I am. But one thing I know, that I've, I've changed. And even you, you are complaining. So, he said, so, I just want to be where you are. Just Something is changing from the daily choices that you make. As you begin to do that, what you are saying is, not my will, I really want to do this, but because of you. I really want to do this, but because of you. I really want to do that. And then you get to a point, you begin to say, okay, so, all these choices, where is it taking me to? Especially when it begins to now give you your, your portion of suffering. Hey, it's our deep waters. Your portion of suffering. Because as you go on, because of your choices, some things will now be programmed to, to be unpalatable. It's, it's a wiring. It's, it's the way the world system is. And, and you'll be reminded that you have you you have been you have been on a very smooth path that you did not even make any of these choices and things were doing things were going on fine. So what is wrong with you? What kind of what kind of what kind of thing are you doing and it's very difficult? You are supposed to do these things and have it easier. Right? You are supposed to do this. And the reason why you are having this is so that God can come to you and great things can happen to you and you know. But there was this place in the scriptures where Jesus appeared, and, and as God appeared, darkness was under his feet. If you read the Psalms, he was riding on darkness. Ah, you see, that's not God. <laughs> that is the devil. Because Paul said, For unto you it is granted. It is a grant. Sometimes suffering is a grant. Picture like a grant that is given to somebody. <coughs> And this is the path we don't want to be in. <laughs> and this is what produces power. That's why I, I wonder what are we praying in the church? What kind of power do we, do we receive? That is why when you have some form of power that is not recognized by God, they begin to be counterproductive. They begin to produce twice sons of hell. Some people say they don't want so the advice God will not have this pain so that you don't need this power. <laughs> it's okay. When we are on it, they will be everything. Now that's the problem. Because it's 
Brendan Howells. And you know, oh, you're looking for this Brendan Howells. You can go downstairs, walk towards the end of the road. Um, they, they have like a, looking for their small meeting. Right? Yeah. So you have to come down and walk to the end of the road. Not, not there. Right? So the problem is, I'm not praying for power, right? You did not pray. I don't want. Yes, you don't want. I like that. Don't want some people to say. Yeah, no, no, no. I have, I, I like that, and I associate with it. So let's let's go on that train of thought. Um, Dasola is not looking to preach. <laughs> See, I just want to be on that. Right. Mm. No that you look just be following my thoughts. I am not even a people person. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to carry any person's cross. Mm -hmm. Three. I don't even I don't even have the energy. I don't even finish praying for myself. Mm -hmm. Now I want me to pray for someone else. Mm -hmm. I am not praying. Mm -hmm. Jesus, is it too much to just love you without doing anything? Mm -hmm. Just be in your head, that kind of thing. I just want to, I don't want to associate with the fact that I, I love the Lord. It's simple, though. Okay. Now, there is no, I'm not saying, I, see God, I don't have to drink. See, take the drink to the other boys of this like world it. and the people that like it. So people are so thrilled by this power. Me, I don't even know what it is. And I, I, I don't have any explaining to people. This one there, eh? why do I even tell people on Facebook that I'm praying and see vision and revelation and all those things and I say, oh, I'm, I'm seeing somebody I don't want to see. Okay? Now, I want to be in a place where don't even come to me in a strange way and send angels and I start dreaming and I start doing things or I start reading the Bible and I don't want to, I just want to, I want to speak like normal human beings. I want to, and all these things that I'm having, I just need money. <laughs> I, all these long, long stories that we are talking about, right? Just that money. Money is something. And God, eh? This money, sincerely, is done for ego because I can't even compete. I don't want to be on Forbes list. Then I don't want to be a billionaire, all those things. I don't even want to go to politics or anything. See, I, I just want to live a normal life. Live a normal life, travel out, come back. You my know, dream, children are doing well. I'm getting married, and you know, these are. I, I just want to sit there without thinking about money. Mm. And I want to do something, and money is not giving me a dick. Eh? Now, can I have a car that I will drive? I will not drive me. A car that I won't be the one drive. You know. Can I just be normal? I love you. Don't give me power. Now, and I am loving you not because I want to. I want to. I want to be known. I don't want to be known. Now, the issue with that is why you are saying that demons are saying. The light of God on this gate. This is a target. They look for light. Mm. So they see you, you are complaining, you don't want power. They are seeing you. And they are coming. <laughs> but they don't want that light to be like their own, dark. Mm. So why would you be righteous? Because that's the only thing the devil is not permitted to do, is not permitted to be righteous. He can have light, that's where we get it wrong. He can run miracles. He can do all those things, but he cannot be righteous. So why do you have that seed of righteousness in you? And you are saying, Lord God, I love you, I just, you know, do all those things and you know, they are just there, you know, saying, ah, you've caught this one. Everyone does not have problem with that prayer because it's the most sincere part of you. You don't want it, it's fine. But the system where you are has marked you. And two, your destiny cannot be fulfilled with, with your terabytes.
So without asking, power comes as you live for him. Okay? Someone drank tea and said, baby, something happened to me. Say, there was exchange. You know, like, like a, like an energy. You know, just see some, just you, you, you know, this past, it was, it was beyond feelings. The person woke up and knew that, you know, there was a trans, there was a, there was a communication of energy. Mm. It was moving from earth to heaven. It was moving like that, you know. And the person did not pray for power. In fact, the person did not pray at all. So every day is a warfare because the choices you make separates you, automatically separates you from the pack. As you live for Christ and your choices are for Him, you are separated. So easily you are known in the midst of the crowd by heaven, by hell. Every day, don't pray. You just decide that you will not cheat. You are marked. You decide that you will not take what does not belong to you. You are marked. You decide that you will not lie. You are marked. Now picture this, you are not praying, you, know, you are not, you know, you are not even entered into those realms. You just decide to say, you know what, I want to live in line with the will of God for my life. Now, tricks were brought to you, you rejected it. Things that you normally would, you, everybody, I mean, people would normally jump at. You rejected them. Because you think, you just, you think they are not, you know, they are, not, they are not things you should have. That is the choice. That is the power. So as you begin to do that, you no longer live here again. Your address is changing. They tell us in church, and we believe, not only in church, that to have power, you pray for power, right? You do things that make you have power, right? So you you pray, you look for you know you know strong people like people of God. You sit with them, you pray with them every day. You invest in the Word of God. It is true character mm-hmm. that brings power. So that's why many times people, people will tell you some things. You say, mm, just ordinary me. Mm. I don't. I, I, they will describe some people. They will be. You know when you are denying yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm, that can't be me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, you are not saying not me. No, no, no. Oh, that's your true state. Even let's go to the extreme. The moment where you were weak. And you would commit that sin. And you say, Lord God, I'm doing this. Ah, right there. Oh, God. Right there is true power. Mm-hmm. That, you can, that you can acknowledge your weakness. And you can pronounce it to God. See, a lot of people... Complain to men. Somebody was telling me, I just want to do this, I just want to do this, I just want and I told the person, just as you have told me now, tell Jesus. Mm. Just just say it. You know, some people pray. Hear this prayer, Lord God, forgive me my sins. I have sinned, and this this is very, very disappointing. It is disgraceful. It is this, Lord God, forgive me. 
please forgive me. Please forgive me. Has he said anything? What did you do? He can't even say what he did. To God. He did it too. So when he, when, when he was doing it, he didn't, he didn't look unholy. To tell the God that you know, that knows all things. Some of them even say, you know what, God, I don't need to tell you, you know all things. <laughs> so you have done it. With your mouth, confession is made unto righteousness. You have to say it. So when you have more engagement with men, more than God, that cannot produce power. That is, that is, these are the things that will begin to align your secret place with your private life, with your public life, and as you begin to do that, you begin to get transported. Mm. You are changing address. Mm. You are not among men. That was what they said of Daniel. In describing Daniel, the magicians, they didn't know that they were describing someone that was among them. They said, this person, oh king, that you are asking for, his place is not among men. His place is among the gods. Because as you begin to do that, men, Demons begin to look at you as a god. Mm-hmm. Ye are gods and ye are the sons of the Most High. They begin to look at you, and you, you are, you are, you are, you are engrossed in your pain, mm. in the pain that the choices are giving you. The choices are producing very uncomfortable, unpalatable pain. You are losing your head. You are losing your job because you, you won't take any advances from that person. You are in a tough place. The boss is actually being hard on you and is being hard just because he wants to go out with you. And all those things are happening and he's doing, he's talking, he's talking, all he's talking and he's abusing. It's not, you know, because he likes you. That's you. Okay? All those things. Just deliberately putting you in that place to even we will be no we will be king and all those we will be king and all those uh uh shoulder that she's carrying we will bring the shoulder down we will bring the shoulder down to now that she should go out to talk she's not going out there's promotion and the problem. And at every point where you say, God, you know what? I want to do this thing. I want to sing now. I don't have energy. My energy level is low. That's a sincere prayer. Oh, that's a sincere word. You know how we act in the face of temptation? I will not fall. And deep inside, it's burning. You prepare yourself to do it. You now start preparing yourself. <laughs> so when she comes, I'll just do what I won't know. I won't fall for her. Okay. I'm going to be in my battle. See my battle. <laughs> see my battle. No, 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 no. I will have one. And the guy is so down. In fact, he will do it many times. And so did he be like, okay, wow. <laughs> and I'm down. Something just happened right now. Right now, you know? <laughs> like, I'm really down. Don't worry, you get it. You get it. Like, I'm really down. Okay? Okay, <laughs> thank Oh, okay. Right? Yes. So, you are in this place that is tough. And 
So, oh. and you can sit there. You can sit there. So you're in this place that is tough. And let me now take you to the extreme. You now get to the church. And you now tell your, your Christian brother or your Christian sister that, man, uh, someone just uh, offered me $50,000 uh, to do something. And I told that. What? <laughs> you did what? And we were praying for breakthrough, right? Right, breakthrough, yeah. Are you okay? But I mean, he told me to do this thing, and I uh, uh, do that. Uh, <laughs> and you are looking at <laughs> wait, uh, because I've been just what everything is wrong. Wrong. Even the Bible, David said that if God is marking sin, who will stand? Mm. <laughs> My friend, and those that are even older than you, they've done the things and they will come and you ask for forgiveness. God has provided it. And you move on. It's a forgiving It's a forgiving loving <laughs> I was in the garden and this lady was worshipping God. Awesome worship. And she started, she kept saying, the grace of God, the grace of God. Mm. Hey, how that thing was ringing in my head? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How that thing was ringing in my ears at the grace of God. Ah, grace. He called grace, grace. And then she started weeping, and everybody in the church started weeping also. Grace. I stood. I stopped worshiping. I was just looking at her. This, this is not grace. <laughs> I said, this is not grace. Ah, no. I tapped the pastor. I said, no, this is not grace. This is not grace. She needs help. Ah, she said, what? I said, no, she needs help. She's on lifeline. Maybe his message is... I think she's on lifeline. Anything, be, anything beyond 12 midnight, this one will die. She's marked. Pastor says, so what do you do? I said, there's nothing we do. Go and collect mic from her. And take her to the vestry. Let's go and pray. I said, yes. I said, what crowd? I said, that's the problem. Are you sorry? No. You say the people. No. What is the people? In fact, one was singing popular songs, and I just, I, I just started hitting my Bible like this. I just started slamming my Bible, slamming, slamming. I said, get out of that place, please! <laughs> I want to preach. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. If you don't stop her, I'm going. To, uh, I said, but people are just people. I want to I I I'm hearing people again. Yeah. <laughs> people. The pastor wait, and I went upstairs. I went. I I jumped on the podium. And I jumped. Because I'm seeing that you receive this song on a man. Somewhere. That is the power. 
That is the, that is what that's what changes your address. That is what begins to it begins to change you. It begins to move you. You know, you know that you are very virtual. You are a very virtual person. And then you know that there are some sins that stay so long with you. Mm-hmm. But because everybody is watching, you don't know how to say no. Or you don't know how to deliberately take this act. You know, deliberate decision to stop something. Daily choices. Talking to me after the program, he said, Oh, why don't I see this? Jacob the supplanter was supplanted. You see, when the hunter is hunted and when the deceiver is the deceiver, you know, when you get to a point where you are even skinned in your own skin, mm-hmm. when this karma is calm. Become this Kami. <laughs> I said righteousness is the only place that you can't give what you don't have. You can gain every aspect of church for that place. You cannot. You cannot. So when you hide under the grace that forgives, always remember that if there is a grace that has appeared unto all men and it teaches us to abstain. Mm. Mm. There is a, that is the grace. Don't be lying on these things. Mm. Mm. You know, as a Christian, as a you know, very uh, I accepted these brethren into my house. The room where angels come and God comes, Jesus comes sometimes and we talk. And I did not ask. You know that you know it happens. Who come to your house, you don't even pray, you don't even ask. You do things that belong to God, you think it belongs to you, you know. So I opened my room, my doors, you know, and we came. The first thing I saw, I was, you know, I woke, I woke up, I pray, I do the little what I can do. And sometimes when I feel weak, you know, you just want that brother to just come and, you know, pray with you. Because you can't be a prayer machine all the time. Mm. Although you can be, we'll get there. You know, but every time I see that, first thing I saw was there's something we call Kula Ministry in school. Kula, Kula Ministry, yeah. So first I saw, I first saw that all my, my kitchen, in fact, when they came to my house, it was, it was directly proportional to the number of coolers that I had in my kitchen. Now, if you know me well, I know I don't eat. So there is no way, maybe I exaggerated, I don't eat too much. That's what I mean. <laughs> I eat. I eat. But I'm not the type, you know, live on food. So, so I'm not, I'm, I wasn't expecting that. And then, well, the way I was wired up in school, Daniel Bello's house is not the house you go. Because you are passing, he's inside the house, he's seeing everything. <laughs> so they run from literally that's what I mean. They just run. Is that person that you don't want to see? But that thing you are hiding, they will bring it out. Mm. So girls don't even cook for me. Because you come to that point, I will <laughs> I, you are entered into uh, one big chance. So the, so I saw I saw that and I looked. 
And then I started seeing that their own definition of morning devotion is when the one girl is next to them and they are, you know, uh, carousing, the carousing that we read in the Bible, you know, and that's how they wake up. <laughs> because for me, I have a friend, he knows that friend, we are conversant friends, so he comes to my room every 2 a.m. and we take a five mile walk to pray, so I come back around 5 a.m. So that's how I see them. So what I didn't know was that maybe the time I you know, leave, they will come in and... So it was, it was strange to me. And then another thing I saw was there was no time they read the Bible. They were always talking about grace, 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 grace. See this grace. <laughs> Read this grace again, you. Ah, ah. Yeah. A grace that has no accountability. Go, 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 check, Every food. A grace that uses every door. You don't know the one that is tested, you don't know the one that God deliberately opened. Just to test whether you will use it without asking me. Paul said, an, an effectual door is open to me, yet there are many adversaries. That door was not meant to be used. So, a lot of casualties of needless warfare in us because we have used what we are not supposed to use. As it's opening, you are just supposed to close your eyes and allow it to close. Yes, and be happy it closed. But no. Choices. Choices. I got to a point, I said, no, this thing must not continue like this. The visitation I was having in my room was not there anymore. I was losing it. And God was calling me to go to the mountain to meet him, to meet him. I'm like, but you come to my room. We fellowship and say, no, I can't enter that room again. So I actually thought because we were many. Mm. That was my thought. Okay, maybe it doesn't work out. God okay, told me to go to the mountain. Then one day he said, you did not even ask me. Mm. Before you brought these guys into your house, I said, guys, they are your children. I said, which one? Mm. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. I mean, these guys are new. They are, you know, gospel artists, you know. I mean, any major crusade in school, they are the pastor, you know, the pastor, eh? P this, P that, all those. Eh? I mean, it's a, the people are happy to have them in, it was in that light that I brought them into the, eh, you brought them. Okay. So go back and tell them to leave your house. I said, no, God, I can't do that. Ah, no, 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 I'm not nice. I don't want you to be nice. I'm not nice. Niceness is not the fruit of the spirit. Nice. Mm. Go back and tell you. Throughout that semester, I did not say anything. So I was always meeting God on the mountain. I, lie, I will not say it. You two go and tell them. <laughs> I can't I can't be my dear Richard and now go out and tell people that they should not come to my house again. No, no I will not this one. <laughs> Why will be this disrespectful? Is it me disrespectful? <laughs> they are talking to me. I said, yes. See, when you when you get to the point of no returning God, you will talk to him as a friend. Mm -hmm. When you are hungry, you will say it. When you are mad, you will say it. Imagine Moses. That's why God was angry when Aaron and uh, Miriam, when they messed up. Because they were, God will be angry. Moses will be begging God. Ah, ah, ah. Someone cannot play with you. I don't know. They are playing. You know? No, you won't do that. You will now do that now. And then they will now, you will now do that now. And then they will now begin to say, did you see Moses say that many times? You yeah. see, if you do this, then other nations will, literally speaking, what he was saying is that, if you do that, they will now, people will now begin to, ah, don't do, you know how we counsel ourselves, ah, man, she there, ah, ah, to, but if you do this, now, this is what people will think, oh, that is, Man, man, convincing God. God is angry and man will talk God out of anger. Yeah. What kind of power is that? Mm. Ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
What kind of power is it? What, what, kind, of, what kind of dimension? Right? What kind of dimension is that? You know, we don't get to see that in the church. That God is angry. And you stand before God as a I'm down now. What is wrong with you, sir? I don't know. I want to say, 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 I God was even hustling him. Let me give you another nature. I don't even wear it. Let me give that. <laughs> when will we have that kind of relationship again? Ah, time. Man, what here? They pass through this place. Why is it all different? <laughs> <coughs> you shall want to be binding and casting where everybody you knows you have power. You want know everybody to know you the dead. You cannot even face God and convince God. <coughs> what is intercession? When you can when you don't have that rapport with God to call him out of something. To tell him that see, see. Don't do it. Don't a lady from the U.S. Sent, sent us a picture of the mother in the hospital. On lifeline, on life support, air oxygen everywhere. I think, well, what is happening? And when we started interceding, I got to a point. Okay, what is that? And I saw in the court that these were truthful allegations hanging over this woman. She had done some, entered into some strange things. That, and the daughter was expecting me to talk. I said, I can't talk. Oh. The things I'm seeing, I can't talk. Mm. And the way it was meant to be was for her not to. When she entered, she was not meant to come out alive. Mm -hmm. If she comes out alive, she will be a vegetable, not responding to anything, not on earth, not in heaven. And if she comes back alive, she's not permitted to live more than five years afterwards. Mm -hmm. So how do you use it out? And through the grace of God, I, I, I had to position myself in a way by which I started engaging God and negotiating over the life of men. So there is a pathway in God that you will know and you will begin to become his friend. You have spoken to him so much, he has spoken to you so much, that you know his soft spot, you know what you can say to make him Now, when Moses, whenever Moses is angry, is this the same? So, picture the other way. God will now. See, it's you that always beg me. Like, what is wrong with you now? Okay, you too, you are angry. <laughs> what is only wrong with you? Now, this, I, tell me who is human between the two of you. Mm. No. Some of us can't even face. The seven spirits that was inside uh, Mary Magdalene, not even to talk of. He can't even face it here. Then one guy was praying, Jesus, I want to see you. God said, Go and tell him. If he sees me, he will run away. <laughs> the, the one person who said, When angels show up, just let angels show up when you are praying. Some people will jump over the fence. <laughs> they want to see Jesus. <laughs> How do you transport yourself to a point where your room is just filled with, with heaven? You know, you know, angels just, mm -hmm. they just, they just come, they just go. Mm -hmm. You know, one elder will just be coming, you just see one elder coming and you are reading the Bible. Please don't distract me. I'm getting so much. Wow. I was so pained. I said, yes, I'm, I'm talking to my friend. I'm typing. Oh, yes. 
know someone got to this house, all so they are standing. The first one came, the second one told him, seven, seven. Jesse, is this your house? <laughs> because God has never said something to me. He told him, you have, you have another child. <laughs> We are talking of those that God is so real to. God, God is so real. Samuel judged. Samuel was a king. Samuel ruled the whole of Israel with the word of his mouth. No, no. It came. Okay. came to the ground. Ground. And he ruled for many years just by the word. Those are not mere men. And they got to a point where you are saying something, you know, uh, um, this is in Samuel, sorry. It's the wrong place. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. <coughs> yes, I go sent. After the person came back to me, the person said, Well, actually, it was like that. Let me tell you the truth. I was proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you say something, I didn't come to buy, I say praise and No, you are crazy yourself. <laughs> The praise the Lord is not past the <laughs> we are not taking it to heaven. That praise the Lord is not is not, not something we can mix with incense. Right. We are looking for prayer to mix with incense. Mm -hmm. That praising the Lord with pride. We prayed to a point when I said something to Tony. What was I doing? I was crying. I'm sure she'll be looking at what is wrong with that. I was crying. I said, Why do we doubt God? Mm. I said, About this time tomorrow, this thing will happen. Why do we doubt God? See, when you told me, Okay, so it has happened on my bed, I just started crying again. Why? Because I saw myself in them. <coughs> Many times you doubt God. Mm. How can the chair you are sitting be so real that is more real than God? Okay. And humans speak to you. You take their words much more than God. Mm -hmm. After all, we don't see God. This one we see. This one. <coughs> if you come to me, come to my office tomorrow. That money I will give you. And as you are going, God is saying, don't go, because he will. You say, ah, ah, tell me. <laughs> okay, all the prayer that we have been praying, how many, how much have you given me? You got, how many, how much? This one is even saying, I should come. You say, I should not go, I won't give you. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of way? Or you pray to a point and the door is so open before you, and you are about to give the check, and say, oh, but if you receive that one, uh -huh. God will get. So this is them. <laughs> 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 My friend said they told them that the devil cannot tell them to empty their account for the things of God. The choices we make. This was a man that was bringing God out of out of that. The semester went through and I did not go home. And the Lord said to me, I would have killed him. I told you to do something you remained. Okay. On so so day, these people will come back from home. This is the exact clothes that this one will be wearing. This is how this one will be dressing. This is the color of the back. I saw everything. And he says, it will happen so you know. That I'm the one talking to you. If you don't do it this time, I will kill you. Yeah. And they came. Everything was as it as I saw it. I jumped up. Everybody was screaming, uh, be this, be that. You know how we greet ourselves in school. I mean, I was inside, I was yelling, be this, be that. As they opened, and I saw all of them, I stood up. I said, not this house. Yeah. Ah, this is it. 
that how you meet us. I said, yeah, that's how we greet you. Mm-hmm. Get out of my house. Mm-hmm. You know when you know when you come from from home in school, everybody enter into your room. Oh, Just say hi. Everybody and wow. they enter, they went out. I said, everybody. The shame, the embarrassment, and you know, everybody just saw them. Don't you know what you're doing? Mm-hmm. You're chasing us out of your house? Yeah. Out. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll make sure you don't preach anywhere in this school. Okay. I don't even have any permission. I don't believe in all those things that students that they sent us to school together. I subject myself to you, be washing your clothes, mm. be carrying your bag because you are Pastor Lagbaja, be cooking your cooking. A student pastor. <coughs> a student pastor that is doing that, what will he do when he's a Jew? Mm. See, people right in church grew to be monsters because that's what they saw. Mm. And that's what they saw in their father. Mm. Mm. Mopping the floor of your <laughs> mopping the floor of your mm. and right there that night God came down. things that you have done, you will be castigated right in this school. They will come together against you. Just hold on to me because I'm teaching you how to have a one-on-one with me. I'm the one in this matter. Not, don't take your eyes away from me. Just because of the noise of the market. One of them is in the fifth now. No, not one. Day I saw one on the street of London, I wept so much. I do not you. These are people that when they do programs in school, oh my goodness. They pull who is who. I don't know how those boys do it. They need this kind of people. They are the program. They need them. They never received me. Choices that you make, choices that you make, they begin to transport you. They begin to move you. So there is a vertical movement. You begin to go above the clouds where Jesus is sitting. You operate above the heavens and so the governmental forces of the earth will not have Power over you. The sun shall not smite you by day. The moon shall not smite you by night. Because you are not in the atmosphere that they govern. You've changed the dress. You are operating from above the cloud. You are operating from above the heaven. So the rules and the laws of gravity and everything that happens here does not affect you. When there is a recession in your environment, it doesn't affect you. You are not rich, but you are not poor. The tree does not grow, grow to have, to, you know, the bird does not pray to eat. When you struggle for the things of life, it is a training if you are righteous, for a righteous man. A righteous man is not a poor man. Mm. You can never be poor. You get it. You can never. I mean, you see, he said, I have been young. Now I am old. 
I have never seen. Nor is seed beg for bread. After Pentecost, what hit the disciples was abundant. Go and read very well. It was abundant. There's no poverty, there's no recession in God. Not, God is always at the peak of his power. So when the things of life don't come to you, it's a training. Paul said, I've learned in whatever state I am. To be content, to abound, to abase. You have learned in, in plenty. It does not change me. It, it does not, it does, that is where you are going to. You are going to a point where you are not the, you are, your, your emotion or your temp, your temp, your, 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 let me even say temperature. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody don't have money, they are hot. They don't need to be very hot. I They begin to cause God. <laughs> kind of, kind of God. <laughs> kind of God is this. <laughs> is this very <not> man? <laughs> no, no, no. Are we not going to are we not all serving God? That's the that's the life. Then you then you be hearing also no also no. So that nobody. 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 So don't no, also, don't no, also anything. Don't mm. no change your dress. Mm. That whole dimension of abundance that God has created is only one that we are enjoying. Mm. You sow to reap. That's the, that's the, is the most basic. <coughs> the second one, you reap where you do not bestow labor. Mm. Most of us don't understand that one. Mm. You say it's bright. Mm. You say, ah, ah, but God, ah, ah, I did not work for you. Eh, nah. must you work? Go first, you check me. I said, do you want to walk like that? Mm. <laughs> he said, no, I, I know God. You have said you should not take anything. And you start praying like Peter. that no, I cannot eat what is happening. No, God, I, God, this is good. Then you begin to justify me. God is testing me. God is testing me. I will not take it. God, I thank you for passing your test. If one that will test him and he he didn't even know. He's <laughs> rejoicing that he passed. He said, Gabriel, sir, open the book. Ah, he failed. Yes, but that's not the surprising thing. He does not even know. His hour of visitation, he does not know. That's the second level. Then the third level. Ah, no, God, I'm not even eating the harvest of Lagos. Then you now say, I will, be, I will harvest the labor of nations. Now, as I've said that now, it looks like something that is so too big. So when I first when I when I first started traveling, everything you will see in my bag, Indomie, Iru. That's me. <laughs> For my necessity. Mm -hmm. Everything. You will see my back. <laughs> Complete. I don't want any. I was it. As you I don't want any insult. And I go to somebody's house to say, um, please bring this water. <laughs> <laughs> Put up the light. I want to stay in my own hotel. I'm regretting everybody. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, then don't be content to bring that. Come to kill us. <laughs> See, there's something I'm not enjoying. Mm. I don't want that. Yeah. Just try. Travel from your office. Don't carry your bag. I said, what? He said, yeah. I got to London with papers. Pam, pam, pam. Someone will die. Someone. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't try that one. <laughs> with my phone, 
myself. I, I I was in the office. I just rolled my whatever like this. Did you take your charger? I didn't take my. I didn't take anything. I didn't take my wallet. I didn't take. I didn't take money. I said, don't take anything. I said, yeah. He said, I told the disciples not to take anything along. Mm. Wow. Let us even test this your God. Shall you say God is everywhere? Oh, yeah. mm. Got to remember. Brought my passport out. He said, So how much how do you intend to sustain yourself? I said, God will sustain me. <laughs> the lady removed. I said, I said, my God. <laughs> so that I didn't hear the first one. <laughs> because I was, you know, I was saying that I was confident they were turning. Mm. Uh, I'm talking of genuine, you are doubting in the midst of it. <laughs> wow, so, I like that. You don't understand? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. God, I oh, you told me I heard you clearly. Mm. But yes, I know. Mm. I know. Just like you are you want to establish a business and you call it El Shadda and they say well, what is the name because it's with that. <laughs> 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 I am happy to announce. If you never doubted God, you will never believe it. Mm. Never. Don't want to. Don't tell me how God is a wonderful God. I'm a wonderful God. Don't speak English to me. Angel, don't speak English. <laughs> don't speak English. Don't, don't massage my ego. Wonderful God. <laughs> At the point where you are crying at God. Ah. You are not a just God. That thing that that guy said, that I know you are not a just God. What is often me? They've told him, you always sleep. Where do you want? You, want you, you, you give me one, one talent. Okay, if you are God Almighty and you have power, why can't you? Is it too easy? Is it too hard for you to convert one to ten? Why must I, why must I make this work? That you tell me, ask God. They've told me about you. But I take your talent too. <laughs> I put it somewhere there. See, I am happy to announce to you mm. that I doubted God right there. Mm. Ah, me thank God. I will go. I mean, I don't want to even come. What can you tell me? What can you tell me, Daniel? What kind of, what kind of thing? And all of a sudden, the woman said, No. My father had this kind of faith. Oh, wow. I don't believe in this kind of thing, but I wish you all the best. Then I entered and said, ah, God, I ah, know, this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> But I know that the next available flight, I, I was always, I was already dreaming going back six hours ago. You know, you're frustrated due to that person. Wow. That's it. <laughs> Can God make you stranded? Yes. Very good. Very good. You are transporting. It's all those things. I'm just saying people give testimony and very soon it will start happening. Ah, praise God. People say, I'm praying, they're not. And then they think something like that. All the doors that were open, God shut them. Even the pastor, ah. <laughs> didn't you say so? Didn't you say so? I just want you, men of God, people of God, to tell me, thank God, that you shut the door. Ah. No, you don't want God to shut the door. <laughs> Carry your God and go. I entered one door. What kind of thing is it? 
So while I was there, see, and I was, I was there looking at myself, I was like, a couple, a Nigerian couple, they were looking at me. They were now seeing me over, which is some, which is, is lost. They are lost again. Just look at it. They were now laughing. <laughs> To me, good. So, as I, I knew, I was hearing them. You know, Yoruba people, they are very eager to show to you that they are older than you. They play Leo Mumbi. Yes. My son. It's a mark of respect, my son. So, every kind, everything you have must bow to that. Uh -huh. So, they've actually disarmed you. I say, my son, so because they are telling you I am older than you in everything. Age. Mm. Money, light us, life, I can buy you. Now you are stranded, I can see. You know, they don't come to this part of the world like this. They don't, you don't. What is your name? Dawidi. Where are you going? I came for, for a meeting. For a meeting? Like this? The I room that um, that bonus room. Let's put him up there. You buy some things. We have like how many of you have now? Let's give it to him. Oh. We did not tell our neighbors that we have it. So don't worry, woman is like um. No man, how long do you want to go? Five days. Five days is okay. Funny enough, we are leaving the sixth day. Funny enough, we just want to go to Switzerland. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. See, this was how we two got to London. We don't know. Everything you need. Because we don't do anything. So, to go, we will buy everything for you. What are you, what are you brothers for? Is it grandma? Is it? Don't, don't worry. Don't be shy. Okay. Toothpaste, you don't have. This one, you don't have. Toe, you don't have. They can't everything, everything. They went shopping, they came back, they bought everything. That's it. Cut it, cut it. This meeting you are going, how do you intend to go? How do you want to yeah, we'll go like this? Uh, don't do that. What's the size of your... They were even looking at the size of my shirt. As they are so. <laughs> I was, I was born. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at all. What kind of thing is this? Wow. Wow. So the following morning, I woke up, I, I, you know, I, I, I couldn't talk, I was praying, Lord, bless this family, oh God, bless you, have you this for me? And I finished, I said, you know the pastor, you know, he's even the pastor. If you see the prayer, he was praying, and everything, he's the pastor. So he said, pastor, ah, so then, come, 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 then the man came and said, so see, my, uh, my husband, for like four years, we've not had any sound of child or anything. Mm. See, you will, you will, this is your God. You will, now that we have done something, you too. <laughs> wow. Ah, 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 I don't know that. Ah, yeah. ah, <laughs> ah, 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 all my bones now, they were strong enough. I have seen God. <laughs> I have been humbled. Yeah. yeah. I have wow. been humbled. Ah, I said that one. I said, now, nah, is there any other thing you want the Lord to do? Uh -huh. You know when, 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 <laughs> what, if, what do you want the Lord to do for you? Mm. Yeah. Go through and be doing everything to, to get, um, to pass 
driving school or something, uh -huh. doing everything, and he's not been able to, you know, those things are linked to so many things here. And then he's like, mm -hmm. where is the money? I went to school, went to school. Can you tell him to come? So can you tell him to come because he will pass today. <laughs> today, I say, ah, no, 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 bad talk. Ah, well, it doesn't happen like that here. Yeah, okay. ah, no, you see, you will, you will be, you have a teacher. So they will measure, they will score you, and you will have to be trained for six months in school. Daddy, when you were buying all these things for me, I did not doubt you. <laughs> see, this is my lane. Uh -huh. So I left you when you were doing all this, and I was not happy because I don't know how to live on people. Mm. But so now, leave me, let me tell you people about it. Mm. And I said, stand there. The boy that didn't need to move says, so stand there. In the name of Jesus, you will pass, you will pass to me. The Lord that taught David how to walk. The Lord that did not make David, and all of them were looking at me. <laughs> David was not in the army for me, of the of the children of Israel, yet he killed Goliath. He did the same God is the one I'm talking about. The Jesus that was not that was that did not work in in in, in quarrying company and mining company and told the, the stone to be rolled away. The Jesus that made one naira to be one dollar is the God that I'm talking about. Though. You will pass. Then I go to the man, call the driver school. Let, let him go to that. Nah, you know, I said, let him go. The boy said, Mom, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I got this. I know how to speak. God, that you don't that this is good. That is that hair. So this is not don't be proud of Go there. <laughs> he went. In the evening he came back. You know, like you know, elderly people, everybody was at they got there. The first and foremost, that, that day wasn't a day dedicated for something like that. You don't just come to the office. So the guy said when he got there. The instructor was on, it was, it's off day, but things were not just going on well at home, so he just felt, see God, he just felt, no, it's not a time to be at home. So he called the office and said, he's going to swap his off day for, you know, one of those days in the future, so he wants to come. So those guys were like, but this is not the day that, so when you come to the office, you don't even get to do anything. They said, yes, it's fine. He said, we'll pay you half days, no problem. I just don't want to be at home. So the guy came. And sat there praying for somebody to come. It was not the day. And the guy just dragged, you know, when you put drag, you know that this thing will not work. He got there. And the guy was so happy. Oh! oh wow. wow! No, no, no! Come in! Come in! Wow! Wow! The guy said he was looking at you that time. No, but today, not they don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Ah, don't worry about that. Kid. And he said, and he said, he sat down. As he sat down, I said, do you know what to do? Yes, I know what to do. I said, okay. And he sat there. And the guy started driving, and you know, they put so many things, and then they watch out the park and watch out. So the guy just, he said, as he took the wheel, he knew something changed. Ah, mm -hmm. that He could not, he said, he could not, he said, he could not control, he, could, he said, something, he said, first, fear left him completely. He was not even looking at it that, okay, what if I hit this? He said he was just driving, he was just in him. Then he parked, boom. As he parked, the instructor said, okay, so let's go and watch. That's what was, and you'll be recorded and everything. And then he was all those dots and things. It was machine, they were, and you know, perfect score. The guy got home, he was saying it and he was weeping. Mm. He said, I've never seen God like this. Is your year? Okay. Oh. So you have never seen God. <coughs> you will see God. Amen. You will see God because by this time next year, that your sister will have to. Nobody said it. And God, the woman said it. And the woman told you, "Oh my, my son, man is okay." See, we have played, we have gone to many places. Mm -hmm. See, do read our home. 
know this dossier the Lord. Eh? Eh. We have yes. too many. Even after the first year. Eh, room, room. Don't worry. The first one. Closing up here. Second one. Third one. My fourth month. She was in a period. The period stopped at the seventh month. <laughs> and let me shock you. Every scan was seeing one. Not there, they know every is so clear. Uh -huh. I mean, not like this kind of this place here. Uh, this place you can scan, you can see a girl as a boy. You know, and then, and then you brought us so close. I had left, I'd gone because they provided for my need. The driver took me to all my meetings. I, I mean, they bought suits for me, they bought so many, because that now, you know, strengthened their faith. Mm -hmm. And I was provided for. Took me to their church, I met their pastor, I preached around that, I preached the whole of the week. <laughs> there was emergency evening program. Ah, let's go. For God's name, anointing. You know, and you're like, ah. Help was not the video. It was, if you see, it was, ah, ah. Angels are working among them. Mm -hmm. No, that was what they were, you know, they were touching the this boss that blessed, I will never look down on anybody. If you see the boy that day, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know it was my angel. And I'm looking at her right there. I was at the point of doubting God that I, I was I was not mm. this baby wow. I see. It's not me. Mm. Mm. And immediately we got to nine months at the hospital. One came out, and the woman was so happy. Ah, got to the phone. Pastor, pastor, pastor. He said, boy, oh, praise the Lord. Hey, mama. Tell him not to discharge her yet. There is still one day. Pastor, you won't understand. You know, you know, you, you are, you are, see, you are a pastor, but you are still a young one. <laughs> This is developed country. Machines show high level of precision, yes. And then, so, I, I'm not saying you did not see you, but I thank God for this one. I thank God. I just thought I should call you and say, Mama. You decide that. Midnight. She started rolling on the floor. Serious pain. Started rolling, started rolling, crying, screaming. Let's take her to the hospital. Let's take her to the hospital. The husband wasn't around. So, we took her to the hospital. To tell them for fear that they will be sued. Mm. How did this thing beat the system? Month one, month two, month three, month four, five, six, seven, eight. How? <laughs> the other boy was silently. Let's even say that they thought it was placenta. Of course, they would have removed every other thing. Yeah. First time in my life that I traveled without anything. From that point on, I traveled. I I I don't travel with any food. You cannot see me with anything. You, I I can go with just two shirts, one jeans. Of course, my Bible. I don't I don't go because I have learned. And from then on, even when I'm in my hotel room, people come greeting, they bring stuff, they... So, my father, 65, 
can, can, he has not traveled in his life. She knows my father. And if we are going to the US, so I processed everything and he worked. And, and he got there. When he was about to leave, I said, I have been to that place that you are going. You will enjoy what God has shown to me there. The grace of God that is my own portion in that country will answer for you. Go. How do you explain white people coming to your house and bringing bag of rice to you in their country? <laughs> My father wanted to go, man. Yeah, well, what is this? He went to church, a big church, and you know, down the street. And first time I raised up, and raised up there. And as he raised up his hand, the pastor said, That is an anointed man of God. Because my father said, My father's wife. That's an anointed man of God. Come, 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 come. Out. Where are you from? The guy's from South Africa. My father is from Nigeria. And he mentioned, it, he mentioned his name and he told the church and he said, Okay, that you are not going to be part of them. You are coming with me to the vestry. And then he got to the vestry. They honored him very well. He's a man of God. I just know the hand of God is in his life. And he called two ushers and said, You know what? Let's, let's give, let's, let's package gifts and everything. Take it to his house. Yes, I'm a visitor. Say, Yes, don't give it to the people that are in your house. How do you explain that? And I said to him, harvest for the labor of nations. Mm -hmm. Some people have worked and they have piled the wealth. They are arranged it very well. And they are looking for the righteous man. They don't even know. But they are God. That they worship in their secret place. We begin to tell them that hey, if you want to leave, that's the person that you will give money. So they will begin to show that favor to you. They will begin to show it to you. They will begin to give it to you. And you will think, that is redistribution in parity. It's just wealth redistribution. How God does it that a sinner will work and store up his wealth for the righteous. It's in the Bible. Then the fourth one, by praising God, the earth will yield this increase for you. That one, there are very few people that has, that has, that has entered into that dimension. Just by praising God. The Bible says, let the people praise you, let the people praise you, and the earth will yield this increase. So a righteous man cannot be poor. Whatever circumstance you are in today, two things. It is training you to, to, to move you closer to the will of God, to make you align with God, or it's not yet time. Any time comes, nothing can stop it. Nothing. But then he would have learned that, ah, so this is it. Whether I have it or I don't have it, it doesn't change anything. I've been transported. Mm -hmm. Now picture this. As you are being transported and you are moving, something is happening to you horizontally. Suddenly, you will lack words. You will be calmer. You will be more quiet. You will be more humbled. Like, more like conquered, more like sub subdued. subdued. So you will keep to yourself more. Practical life. Because all your friends are leaving you, or you are leaving them, whichever way, something is happening. So the things that, you know, the places you go, all of a sudden you are all by yourself. And all those places where empty words are occupied inside of you, those empty words will start leaving. So suddenly you have space. It is now time to fill that space with the true word that cannot fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. So that when you get somewhere in the future, that's what happens when you are in a place and scripture jumps out. 
You are not praying. It just jumps up. It's because of what you've been doing every day. All those five, five minutes of praying, all those five, five minutes of studying the word, all those five, five minutes, all those times. Because now you don't, you suddenly don't have any place to go. You don't go to club again. You, you don't, you know, you don't do those things again. You are left. Everybody is saying that you are holier than thou. Nobody is okay. It's fanatic. You are the sinner. You are the righteous one. So you are all alone by yourself. So, instead of complaining, now wasting the space. Because there cannot be vacuum in the spirit. So as you are not occupying that place with the true words, doubt is coming in, frustration is coming in, they are filling that place and choking that place. And you don't move. You become frustrated and you turn back. Is that people turn? 360. My friend went to church and, you know, a very comfortable guy, you know, he said to me, Pastor, I don't go to church, but one this my wife just drive me to church. I go to church and Pastor was praying. Pray for turn around. Let that be turn around your life. He said, lie, lie, I will not pray. <laughs> <laughs> I am okay. I, 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 why, why am I going to do? Turn to me. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. Not listening to one thing, but which one you don't need? Who 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 did this to us? <laughs> Prayers are just so you lack. Oh God! If we know how how much of God's time we are wasting, mm. or how much of eternal values we are wasting. Mm. Because there is eternity in time. Mm. Tell me, what is a good man leaves a legacy or inheritance for his children, children, children? How many generations is that? Three. That one. Mm. Is that no. one? No, 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 no. can be. Abraham gave gifts to the sons of the concubine and gave Isaac all that he had. What's that? Mm. Huh? What which you hear that? I said Which blessing? No, I declare oh, me I like I'm a, I'm sorry, I'm a practical person. Yeah, yeah. So God said um, God gave him his word that through his lineage God is going to establish a nation. So that's the blessing that he gave. Thank God, thank you for the English. He gave him God. That all he had, all Abraham had was God. How can somebody tell you to leave Mesopotamia and start following me to a land that I will show you? Ah. Which one? God was practically his compass. He was his navigator. Enter this place, go out of this place, move here. What's God? Give him all that he had. And this same Abraham, he was written that he was blessed in all things. Can you be blessed in all things? Yes. Did he pray? Did Abraham pray to be wealthy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me. And you waste your energy, oh, Father. Somebody is that good. He's done good thing on somebody. <laughs> the one giving the answer, the one asking the question. <laughs> 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 this is a stupid boy. Mm. Let me tell you, all the wealth that Dangote, all those big things that you people call, had everything together, is it's not 1% of God's money. Mm. And there are resources in, on the earth that belongs to God that nobody has ever touched. Mm. Nobody. There are some wealth. Wow. Forget it. Bank account cannot count God's money. Mm. You cannot. Who is God's banker? How many of your 27 banks 
have the word chest to count God's money. That's the money they are counting. All this dirty money. This is blood money. Some money should even be happy that you are not part of them, part of it. If only you know that the reason that, that, you, are, that you don't have money is a blessing. That you don't have money at that point. Mm. Because the things moving around have, are leading with, with corrupt and mm. demonic stuff. Mm. Yahoo boy trains his mechanic how to become Yahoo. He made money through charms. Mm. He distributes the same money to the street. Mm. The market man takes the money and spends to someone else. And he keeps spending things. And this evil keep moving around in circle. And yet, this is what you celebrate. I was so happy when I read the story of that in Big Tooth Boy. I was very happy. I said, oh God, thank you. This is the level of greediness in the world that we measure as we measure the game. Forbes to Microsoft to BBC to TED Talks, everybody. It's us that they will not be saying, also no. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden they made us look like they are not working. Are, are, are you in that position? Even those in your house, they are using uh, what you are going to do, shame you in the cutting. It's your mate. Mm. Say taxi on that thirty. You don't know how they're doing it for you to have to do it. Mm. You say, well, well, yeah, you know, all those things are blood money. Uh, you that are not doing blood. Yeah, you are not even seeing anything. <laughs> okay. If they are doing blood, are you not the one are you not the one who that is following God? Are you not the one to bring God money? Okay, you are not spending blood money. Bring the one that belongs to God. Mm. You are. Things begin to change us. Now capacity is now there. Because those things have left you. Then you are upgraded. You begin to fellowship in an unusual way with God. Because you begin to have if followed rightly, you begin to have joy. And joy is not happiness. Mm -hmm. Happiness is triggered by what you see, what you have. Joy is not moved by your bank account. You can be joyful and not be happy. Mm -hmm. Because the joy of the Lord then becomes your strength. So you suddenly have strength to worship mm -hmm. and strength to do things in God. And that brings peace. And the peace of God that passes all understanding. Because we'll be saying, you don't have money and you are this peaceful. Mm -hmm. Just that peace. You are irritated by panic. Nothing, you don't, if there is any panic around you, you just want to shut it down. And as the peace of God that passes all understanding comes to you, the God of peace will now come and put Satan under your feet shortly. Is that not what he said? Mm. On the God of peace. Because before the God of peace comes, the peace of God would have mm. come to you. Yeah. And as you have this capacity increases, and you begin to fellowship with God, you know when to go out. You know when not to. You, you were going, you were so... We were going together. We we're coming to, I forgot where we were coming. And then I said, accident will happen here. 
was it two, three days time or what? Is it two days time or three days time? Mm. I have even forgotten. So my colleague told me, early in the morning there was a truck. The four of the LCC guys came and this guy was coming on very top, he didn't see it was quite early in the morning. And he hit the, the, the stuff and then move, you know, quickly. The way he hit the, the uh, everything, you know, but right in front of, you know, we, we, it was around that whole, um, around that whole gate sign, the uh, uh, this one. And he was saying, he didn't click to me. I was in the canteen when I was looking at him. Tulu and I passed this place. So you begin to pick vibration. You, 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 because you have changed address, you are now in the real world. Where, as you are real to me, things are real there. Mm. You begin to see. You begin to catch it. You know what is about to, to happen. Then you get so deep that you begin to hear songs. You begin to, you begin to. Pick, sense. not sense. You begin to pick words. You begin to pick songs that are recognized in heaven. Mm -hmm. That are songs that are given in heaven to people of the earth, recognized, not not popular, not hit songs. Mm -hmm. Okay begin to receive the time and you begin to sing it only to right. discover somewhere that ah so somebody sang this song you say did you no no I heard it over right. here. I keep pointing to her because she's my <laughs> so I see <laughs> 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 anytime I pick anything I say to look yeah even the one that you know and she's so wonderful she just keep it somewhere because I will come asking for it. <laughs> so one day I just Please let me check this song. I'm hearing they don't know what you do to me. To do that. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the one I know is they don't know what you mean to me. I said, no, that man did not receive the song well. This was how they sang it to him. To do that, no, not him. It's a she. Yeah. <laughs> I said to this song, you know, we had the thing on. He said, okay, Dick, I opened it up. It was a lady that was singing. I said to him, what I heard, it was a male's voice. I mean, I, I don't know again. And all of a sudden, after a few minutes, the B. I said, that song was rendered how many years ago? 14. 14 years ago. By a guy. This they don't know me. What do they do? The person that sang it was a man. I never knew. So you begin to worship not with popular songs. <laughs> you can wake up and say,
I was making and said, hmm, there's a working of miracle that's going to happen here. And I started describing, I mean, what did she say? She said, at the point, she said, how did you know? Mm. You know, I was mentioning color, bone. I, I was seeing the, 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 the position of her abdomen that they did operation and the doctors shifted something inside of her. And that thing did not sit well. And I was told there is a mark somewhere here. There is something. One of your veins is, is swollen. There is blood inside of it. It's not moving to me. And, and at the point we were praying, we closed our eyes. She was hoping she was just looking at it. Now those things you call prophecy, they are normal things. There, is is it's like you're talking. Is there? There is no shine, there is no sh um, show off. No, it's, it's just a language. I just know so that is not so um, that thing. You just pick up. <laughs> People say when you are when you, when you are prophesying, you talk. I say ah, uh, as you prophesy, you talk. You talk. He said no, you don't shake. You know, I don't know. I don't know how to do this, do all this drama. I am not that like. Hey, in bed. <laughs> no, this year goes. This is the one. I own it like that. So we take it off. your language, then it changes your appetite. Mm. That's where it even gets very scary. It yeah. changes your appetite. You lose your taste bird is yeah. lost. Food yeah. will get spoiled. Yeah. You won't even have time for those things are changing. They are beginning to they begin to and as you are losing appetite for food, that's when people are saying, Oh, you are growing. Ah, it's okay. okay. They are coming. It's, it's growing. I think it's the moment you don't even have money, mm. you don't even have anything to eat at home. People will be looking at you. You are growing. Mm. Your children are doing. I think that's mm. ah. Okay, God. If this is set up, God can make you stranded. Children of Israel come out of it. Yeah, so what you say? And the person was coming, he put Egypt behind them. They, they won't run. And then before them, he put a sea. Ah! God, uh, uh, what kind of joke is this? So even the prophet said, okay, don't worry. I mean, we know how we, we got this. We got this. We got this. You know how pastor will want to say everything, even the one doesn't understand. Mm. See, why can't you just be very honest and tell the member that, see this thing you have said, I don't have an answer to it. I will come back to you. Because you can't be good, you can only be good. So Moses assumed that, said, you know, our God is a great God. See this Egyptian that you see today, you will see them no more. <laughs> Stand still. Just say the Lord. Stand still and see the glory of God. I said, have you finished summer? They are not standing still. They are moving forward. <laughs> <coughs> moving forward to be inside the sea. Mm -hmm. See, God, I have more skill. You know, I was in the Egyptian army. So I know we can turn back home. Mm -hmm. I know how to <laughs> I didn't think they would kill half of us, but we will survive, you know. I have this, you know. And they worry to my parents. They are not going back, they are not standing still, they are moving forward. Now moving forward meant a very different 
atmosphere that you know Moses was not used to. Do you understand the practical move now? How many of this is prayer enabled? So you begin to use prayer for what it is meant to be. A communion with God that will make the angels find your prayer worthy of harvesting to heaven. Because it's daily, daily prayers of the saints are needed. They don't pray in heaven. So when they say prayer of the saints, it's those that are here. They don't use prayer in heaven. So they come down here to harvest quality prayer. The one that reflects the heart of God. And they take it to heaven daily. And they put it in, you know, in the incense pan. And it gives sweet smell. Because God says, mm, the person that prayed this prayer is broken. A broken heart, mm. Mm. A, a broken heart, a contrite spirit. A, mm. This one is, mm. is a sweet, mm. it's very sweet. Mm. There is no arrogance in this. There is no, there is no dirtiness. There is, this is pure. Mm. It's a pure language. I say, no, you know what, Gabriel, go and give him my pure language. Mm. So they give you a language that you speak, not of men. So you don't reboot. You know most of God they people reboot when they get to God. I don't talk any let me listen to Don Juan. He <laughs> <laughs> lift me into his presence. See my son, say what he said. Because all those times he is just de, he's just trying to declutter from those the other time that he said, okay, let me take it a notch higher to my guess me. Draw me close. <laughs> so the worship song that he knows. Me, I don't know. I hear the song, I don't know who sing it. I don't know. I don't know. The first day I saw Udu the day, he knew. He was so I don't know anyone. He said that oh, all the guys that sang but limited God I didn't hear which song. I go to my dad, this one is unlimited, it means unlimited God. Ah. She said, wow. Mm-hmm. And then they play the song to me. Mm-hmm. But the people will not let you sleep. Because in that day, eh, we day and I will be praying, there's nothing. If, there's, if, she, if he sees anything, it's, Man of God, let me send this thing to you immediately. I they were praying, they said, well, um, Father, they didn't cry with me. Go, go now. He was mentioning their name. I can't go. <laughs> so I don't know anybody. The person was not kind of a very new person. I said, okay. Okay. You are both the clouds. Is who? Is recognized in ranking that you know. Mm. You don't know you you are you don't know any man after the flesh. Mm. Okay, so you are in your own lane, legislating from there. So when you forgive sin, then the sin is forgiven. Then, when you retain it, now this is where the, this is where the thing is. You don't pray outside. Whatever I've already prayed. So you don't use the power. You don't say any way. Like I see it people in me. Spirit move you. 
to the point where you now mm, pray according to the will of God. He said, and when you pray according, have you? So what you are praying has been prayed. The dimension is there already. So you are calling down on earth what is in heaven as it is in heaven, so on earth. That's the will. That's the will. Once you get to that point, you are the begotten of the Father. And not the apple of God's side. That's a level. Of, that's the most basic level. And to be the begotten of the Father is not by anointing. It's by daily dying. See, so you're moving vertically, horizontally, capacity is, is, is increasing. And then you begin to enter in another level. You dream, you are fighting, you are fighting them. Things are happening. I'm not used to this. Mm. Somebody said to me, I, I, don't, I don't like this fight. Ah. Okay, come on. Take that, that, baby. Sorry. You don't like what? <laughs> okay. You come, you come higher. Mm. In wrestling, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't fight without being stained. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't, you don't fight the hair. It's a physical thing. You, we wrestle. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we begin to wrestle. Principality, one level, power, two level. You begin to go, 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 go till you are far above them. Far above principalities and power. Where Jesus is, that's where you are. At this point, Trust me, you won't pray for money. It is when heaven is praying that you are praying. That is why that place, I read many places. But there was a place I read, he said, watch therefore and pray always. That's why I said you can pray always. Without praying. You can pray. Friend I met in on Saturday, have the same experience that, that Rookie had. Thank you. Have the same experience that Rookie had. And he said, 21 years ago, you prayed for me. I said, Wow, 21 years ago, am I that way? You prayed for me, and you, you told me my destiny is to do this, is to do that, and that is what I'm doing now. That's the only thing I know how to do. I was very happy. I'm very grateful to God. And wow, 21 years ago. So he said to me, before I leave, because I don't know when I'll see you again, how do you pray? Mm. I want to pray with you. I want to, do you have time, you know, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., 12 p.m.? I was like, love you. I used to do that. I bought. So when you heard oh. that I used to do that, I said, so what do you do now? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, me, I don't have time table again. No. I don't know how time table. When they are praying there, is there where? I said there. When they are praying, that's when I pray. I don't because I'm not ruled by time. I'm not bound by time. You can be on your bed and you tongue out. <laughs> or you are just walking and something just blew out. And a time will come, you will get gain understanding of what that thing went to do. In the military, you account for every, every bullet. That's exactly how it is in the kingdom. Because the higher you go, <coughs> the less of that bullet you use, and you must account for it. Said to me that well, I don't people don't people, people are talking, they are saying I'm fanatic, they are saying this, they are saying that it's ugly though. I'm even 
something different, you know. Some of you say, Daniel, I will not pray with you again. <laughs> it's okay. Twelve people, school of Kairos was talking to them for two hours, for, for for two years, just discussing. That's what the Bible says: discuss. <laughs> Many times there, you will see them as they are talking. The spirit in fellowshipping, as your capacity is, you don't need to pray and shake the whole. Head. No, 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 no. The time will come for that. When you begin to see clearly. So you begin to see some things change around you. Begin to see, you know, begin to see your eyes is opened. Begin to see, you know, angels. You begin to see trains. You begin to see, you know, and you begin to ask yourself to what end? Is to the end that the whole world is coming to prepare the ground for the reigning king to come? The devil is doing his own. And he's doing it judiciously. In fact, he's doing it because he does not have time. And that's the same devil we are praying against. We, we are not doing our own. We are praying against the devil that is following others. And God is saying, carry it the door. And we, we are living our own. And the, no, no, no. Stand where you are. And the, this destruction will pass. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I begin when when the one that's last sat here the other time I saw I saw this leg broken. Angels came in and they broke the leg. So I said, move here. And they went there again. They broke the second one. In my mind, as I was, as I was distracted, I said, ah, she doesn't have leg again. I said, yes. Because we are taking our feet away. To give her the one that we have for her. Mm. So she will be directed by us. Mm. Where you don't want to go, you don't go. Mm. Huh. Where you go is where they do tell you to go. So there is no, you know, it's so calculated. Okay? Mm. It's what? Calculated. I, the bone broke. I was hearing. I could hear the, you know. And he said to me, it will inconvenience her. That's the sound that I hear. Okay? But with a new feet from God, she would walk the path that is made for her. Destruction is fast. In fact, Everything she looks for is gotten. And then you have true righteousness. So I didn't see her with glasses at all, but I saw her without eyeballs as I was seated here. But she didn't have glasses. And with that eyeball, she was without eyeball, right? She was directing people to where they were supposed to go. First, I saw I laughed in my mind as I was looking at her because Nigeria is the only place where the disabled are the only. Directing traffic. Directing the abled. In my mind I said, but she doesn't have eyeballs. Ah. Who is blind but my servant? Because she leans on God. And she is direct, not only directing herself, directing people to stay in the path of Christ. To stay in the destiny that is laid out for them. Mm -hmm. Capacity. Okay? Capacity. 
So before Gerald came, right there, I didn't know that was going to be one seat. But I knew that the person that would sit there, there is a, a something that was that was given to that seat. It's called the zeal of the Lord. So the person will suddenly be having this zeal that is ruthless. It is you that will, that will cave. It will not. It will stay on God and you cannot use anything to make him suffer. He can die for that thing that God has given to him. Zeal. Capacity is not when you pray. It's the food that God has prepared before you, you for ever before you came. And that's what is settling in. Okay, settling in. So don't expect me to pray. Okay. I wanted us to go into destiny relationship, but I can't go into that because capacity will change. So what you begin to see is you'll be praying from your dream, you'll be praying in and out of your dream, mm-hmm. you'll be praying as you go. You, your prayer will be your second language. And then you won't pray dry prayers anymore. The world will be full and they will be, they will be living with power and grace. And you will not vibrate. You'll be so calm on the surface, but you are... You are a dynamite. You will not pray out of fear anymore. You won't pray, pray out of panic. That desperation that says, Jesus, I just want to see you. Jesus, I just want, I, I just want you to do no. You begin to just pray. That is all that. Okay? You begin on this Friday. You begin to just know that these things I'm saying. That is, that is a work that is done. There is something that is happening. And you know how long you should stay. You know where to go sleep. You know what time to wake up. Mm-hmm. So calculated and so accurate. Mm-hmm. Nothing to fear anymore. Deadlines are not there anymore. Sorting. Okay? You need to grow capacity where it will matter. You just start overlooking things. You just think that you will see and just, you know, flip and be angry. You just, you know, they will just leave you alone. Just leave you alone. Yeah. You begin to see. A growing capacity. A growing capacity. As these two weeks, those are part of the things that God has done inside of us. Mm. So much. So much, eh? There's just so much. I'm just not <laughs> We've read some here, so please send it, send your own. Okay? Say that it's very, very important. You know, within this period. So you begin to see that, and someone is asking, okay, so to what end um, are all these things? I mean, to what end? Is to the end that people that you did not preach to will be coming to the light of God. You just see people running after you that, that can you? I'm just sitting still, I'm not speaking. Even if I'm sitting in the toilet, the presence, you just know, they see me here. Yes. You know, 
and that's how it would feel. And I think I would just have big dreams, and I would see, you know, in the country. There was this one. I was in my village compound. This lady was yelling, cursing me. And I was about to just slap her, and I woke up with a slap. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was weird. It was. Hey. It was trying to do stuff. She was trying to do stuff to my mom. Exactly. So, just, <laughs> so she was cursing me, saying words to me. I was like, ah, me. You know, so it was like and you raise up your hand like yeah. You know, but I, I said, ah. <laughs> you know, because I, feel I like love over it. these two weeks, as I was immersing in the word and yielding to the instructions, my spirit began to yoke with my mind, such that my <laughs> consciousness in my dream <laughs> were the same as when I was awake. Praise God! You know, when you are dreaming and you are sleeping, you can tell that that was not me in the dream. But as as these things were happening. It's like, I Cut. felt like there's something happening to us. Yeah, like you, will, you will preach next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I felt like there's something Beautiful. happening to us. Our spirit is ruminating Whoa. again. But for the past two years or so, stuff has been happening. I've been like, God, there's a place where you were just the thing that matters in my life. And all these things that came to people knowing me is just, we're not there. And I felt like over these two weeks, God was bringing back that it's just me and you, you know, just us. And I felt like that's where it matters, it's just me and you. It was, it was opening the heavens in my life where it was just, I would be working, walking, and I felt like the Holy Spirit is talking. I'm doing something else, but I know the Holy Spirit is talking. You know, when you say, when I would hear things randomly, like, I would hear things randomly like, it's a consciousness, it's a consciousness. When you see, those men of God say things that you're trying to put yourself together in the presence. It's a consciousness they are in. So you get in the exactly, consciousness. Exactly. So to make me, I'll not be reading my Bible. Maybe if I, I won't let my mind be still. I'm not working. I'm praying in tongues. I'm responding or something. When I finish, I'll lock up somewhere. Even if it's on my phone, on the book, I'll do something. Because um. I feel like God is trying to use my life as much as our lives to galvanize people around us and things into a place and we have to enter there our minds and consciousness it's like my consciousness has to be there yeah. for me to be able to and it has to be fixed and be strengthened and be strong and unshakable in that place yeah. for me to not carry even the most intimate of people because that's where the distractions come from yeah. into that place mm -hmm. so these past two weeks have been something for me can you, can you, can you see what they've been something there? Something. I enter into a place and I don't know, God orchestrates John, John me. In yeah. It's weird. God has been orchestrating me to places where the prayer is fire. You know, I was at Felony's house. When you sit inside the place and worship is going on, it feels like heaven. It was a lady that lost her husband last year. I never knew her for, for that. That day was the first time in her house. That day was the first time I knew she lost her husband. That day was the first day I met her. But I stepped in and it was as if I was in the midst. I don't know. I was in the prayer Friday, it was like fire. Mm. People step in and they're just saying, oh God, yeah, because of the, because of the oh, presence, their consciousness is impregnated. Ah. But I'm not saying it was because of me, but the places God led me to. It's because like of kind you. Of things. Uh, don't worry, it's because of you. <laughs> it, for two, three hours, I was at work and she called me to 45. I said, I would just, what did I say? Five minutes, right? Five minutes became. I, you know, I, I felt for her. At the point, I was going to say, "Don't come again." Eh? <laughs> because they say they are not, they are not normal things. So, you know, at the point, I had to ask her, "Have you? Is this the normal meal?" And she said, "No, I, I don't know about this one before." <laughs> because of you. Because of you, because of you, your environment begins to change. What is happening now in the world is there is there is wickedness in the air. People are people are actually sniffing death. And that's why there is gross darkness on the people. But as the people of righteousness arise like this, the environment begins to change. Godliness and righteousness begin to inflate. So it's you. Don't say. You don't. Humility is accepting what you have done. If I shut the door, I say it all. 
and so from your enemy. Don't pray for any other enemy. I shot it. I won't say, uh, yeah, the Lord used to. The Lord do. Begin to be that walk in that consciousness, not pride. You only know your your space. The one God has given to you. David immediately he knew that the land Goliath was standing belongs to Ju uh, Judah. He didn't. He knew Goliath before. He can't win that battle. Praise God. So, so, so excited. So excited. So excited. God will do more. Amen. God will do more. Amen. You won't know how, you won't know how so much power that you, you, you have in your daily choices, in the things you do, in the no that you say. The no, the no, the no, the no. The consciousness of God was what made Joseph to say, how oh, can I do this thing and sin mm. against God? Because yeah. he was seeing God around. Right, he was seeing God around. Righteousness is very easy. Just tell your boyfriend, okay, you can have sex with me, but know that God is watching us here. So right. there's just CCTV everywhere, so do what you want to do. That's why you are emotionless. <laughs> Yes, because every eyes are everywhere, so you won't, you will, you will not. <laughs> because this heart is somewhere else. Praise God. Hallelujah. We will have vigil at this rate. Let me stop. Let's have vigil. Let's have vigil. <laughs> Let's have vigil. <laughs> Let me stop here. <laughs> This is the longest <laughs> we've been. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's a few minutes. No, no, no. no, no. This is the longest we have been. Ah, no. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you.